Oh man. Oh my god. I'm so nervous. It's happening. Oh my god, it's happening. Oh god. Hello. I couldn't like I was trying. This is the reason why it took so long for me to like go live is because I started crying because I started thinking about Endwalker. And then I couldn't take a photo because every time I tried taking a photo, I like also kind of kept crying. So it was just nothing was going well. Nothing was going right. But it's fine. I tweeted. I took my I took my selfie. So if y'all don't mind giving it a like, a retweet, um, a reply, that would be great to help like, you know, boost the engagement because there is a good chance that we are finishing N Walker tonight. I'm, I, ah, I'm so scared. I'm so scared. I'm excited, but I'm, I'm really nervous. I'm really, really nervous. Are we gonna hit 100 on the cry counter? We're currently at 88, I think. I cried three times yesterday, but we didn't count them because the game was not on the screen. I didn't cry um, because of the game per se. So, yeah, we're, I'm gonna I'm gonna see how much of the game we can play. We are getting close to the end. I can feel it. Um, if anything, we might just have a huge cliffhanger and I may have to return to Endwalker next week. But that's okay. KupoCon is next weekend and the goal was to finish this game by KupoCon. So you know what? We're getting there. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited. All right. Y'all know the drill. Drop an emote in the chat. That way I can say hello to you. Let me see those nodders. Let me see the nods. Oh, I hope everyone is having a good day. I kind of am, I think. My day was like kind of productive. I passed out on the couch, which I did not want to. I wanted to take some like hot girl selfies, but uh, we could do that another day. It's fine. It's not the end of the world. Could be worse. Could be better. Whatever. It's all right. Oh, we got a first time chatter. Hello, Sage X Machina. Welcome to the chat. Hello. 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 All right. Let's see who's here. Grandma, it's nice to see you. Hello, Kelsey. Hello, Goose. Hello, Pro Sauce. Hello, Rhea. Hello, Davis. Joker. Dentist. Stuff like games. Yelly. Afro Nooch. Hello, Dorian. It's nice to see you, Ulma. Hello. Hello, Italic Pizza. Hello. Do you want me to just call you Denise? Or, or are you cool with just being pizza? Nemo, hello. Hi, Ava. Ava, you should be... What time is it right now for you? You're in India right now, right? Hello, no, the lid. Dissatisfied. Did I say how do you get... I did not. Hello, dissatisfied. Hello, Matt. Hello, Antoine Bell. Remind me how to pronounce your username. Kumidori, is it that? I think I think I'm I think I'm on the right page. But hello! Perfect gum, hello, hello, scary, hi, hi, Alec, hi Fizzy, hi Vin, Soren, it's nice to see you. Hello, sniffing snails. Hello, Mr. Dallas, what's up, L? Hello, hello, crunchy spaghetti. Hello, hello, hello. The games you play, it's nice to see you. Midoriya, Midoriya, that's that's it. Midoriya. Okay, got it, got it, got it, got it. I always fucking I always forget the order. Alright, got it, Midoriya, Midoriya. It's only 5.53 a.m. Well, good morning. Good morning, Miku Midoriya, Miku Midoriya. No, you don't have to change your name. You just gotta correct me. I'm going with Denise. Okay, perfect. Well, we'll see what comes out of my mouth first. All right. Oh, Fahrenheit. Hello, Saren. It's nice to see you. Are you here to watch me cry? Are you here to watch me cry? Oh, chat. How are we feeling? I can't believe I started playing this game two years ago. I started playing this game two weeks before N Walker came out, and we are finally, finally catching up. I still have the patches to do as well. Um, I don't know what to expect with those, like, at all. But, oh my god, it's happening. It's happening so many of you have been along this journey with me since i started playing this game literally two years ago and when i started playing this game i didn't know that i would become this obsessed with it soren thank you for the 10 gifted what if i drank uh, what if i drank a bottle of wine and gave so some subs i would not be complaining actually i would love that actually thank you for the 10 gifted i appreciate it i also have some baileys in my hot chocolate so it's it's gonna be, this is gonna be a night, to say the least. 
I feel like I need to put more mascara on this eyelash because it's like not matching the whimsy of this one, but that's okay. I tend to play this game 13 years ago. I will not be taking crushes this time because I feel hella old. I remember when Sarah first fell for a white-haired Final Fantasy XIV man. Now look at them falling for a white-haired Final Fantasy XIV man again. Who was the first one? Was it the that one guy who spawned in the summoner? Oh my god, remember remember the um the trainer or whatever who was in the summoner quest line, but then vanished and never came back? Do y'all remember that? That one hot white-haired cat boy who never returned to the game? That was my first crush in Final Fantasy XIV. And then it was Orshapa. <laughs> He's still getting milk. Hubs, enjoy your sub. Welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome. How many people here are new? Who here is new to my stream? I, I've noticed we've gotten a lot of first time chatters since I returned to MSQ, which I love to see. Kelsey, yeah, we're, you're so new. All right, let's see the, the newbies in the chat. And if you need to use the, the little alert command that we have, go for it. I'm just gonna like fix this eyelash cause it's like kind of bothering me. So give me one second. If I say me, would you believe me? Actually, yes, dentist, it's so nice to meet you. Who the fuck are you? for one cutscene and then dipped. Actually broke my heart. <gasps> Gain, hello Gain, it's nice to see you. Did you love my wife? Uh, well, did you love my wife, Vana, Sire? If you said no, I'll cry very hard and she's my white haired Final Fantasy love. Oh, Vana fucked me raw. I love her. The second she appeared on screen, I was like, mommy? Like, I, I'm still, I still don't know if it's gonna be explained and obviously a smile better suits a spoiler so don't ruin anything but I still don't understand Vana so she was like so she's one of the ancients who was previously Asm she's no longer Asm and I'm confused do I remind Emmett and Hithlo of Vana or the current Asm and who the fuck is the current Asm I don't I, I don't know I don't know I don't know I, I hope my questions get answered I feel like this game does like a pretty good job of keeping me in the loop hold on let me can I like what if the current asm is me what if it's just me what if it's like parallel universe me could you imagine you just see a little a teeny tiny little cat girl on the I don't know, the 14th seat? Am, am, the 14th? The 16th seat? The, the, the 13th seat? I don't fucking know. Let's see! Oh my god. Two months? Or two months. Two years? We love to see it. Let's see, thank you for the two year resub! Oh my god, I was putting mascara on the wrong eyelashes. It's these ones. Okay, I think I like kind of fixed it. I don't know. I don't know. Well, thank you for the two year resub. I hope you're doing well, Lissy. Hello, hello. There you go. That's a little bit better. <laughs> Captain! Hi, Captain. I don't know anything. I just like smiling. You're valid. I love this game with all my heart. So it's great to see someone stream it. Hello, Heaven with D. Hello, hello. I, I too love this game. I too, I too love this game. I have been playing it for literally two years and I never thought this game would mean so much to me. I never thought it would become the only game that I streamed. I never thought it would be the only game that I fucking played. You know, I, 
This is my first Final Fantasy game. This was my first ever um, dive into the Final Fantasy um, game series. And to think it would be the critically acclaimed MMORPG that reeled me in, you know? Yeah, I've the only other FF game that I've played is FF16, and I haven't even fucking finished that game. I'm hoping to finish that one by the end of the year as well, but I've played six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Really, Grandma? Oh my god, you're ahead of me. Can't wait till we don't have to use redacted anymore. Oh my god. Uh, hello, Mr. M or hi, hi, Morrison. Hello, hi, Morrison. Hi, 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 Jacko. Hello. Thank you, Gamer Jen. Thank you. Where it's where this time two years ago I was scrambling to get through Omega so I could say I'd done all this stuff before Endwalker. That's hilarious. Enigma, hi! I mean, you took a long break and some plot points from Shadowbringers might be fuzzy to you. I wouldn't say that they're fuzzy to me. It's just they... I'm trying really hard to connect the dots and I think that's what's making it confusing for me as well. Because I'm trying so hard to make sense of certain things that I think I'm losing some of the plot. Does that make sense? But I haven't failed yet, okay? All of my predictions have been pretty spot on, so. <laughs> I bought a PS5 for Black Friday to play 16. I literally, bleh, I literally bought a PS5 as well. Square Enix graciously gifted me FF16, and because of them, I literally ran to the store and bought a PS5. Remember when it used to take like 45 minutes to even get on? Oh my god, yes! And see, that was the thing. When I first started playing FF14, I, like, I was playing when everyone was returning for Endwalker. I literally was stuck in the world's longest queues just to play A Realm Reborn. If that isn't dedication, I don't know what is. Okay? I wasn't even in the good content. And I sat here on stream and I waited just to get in so I could freaking play A Realm Reborn. My sisters are doing the Endwalker queue. Oh my god. One of us. One of us. Fought for her life to create a character. That's so funny. Wanting to beat it in two weeks. I know. I cannot believe I thought I could beat this game in two weeks. It took me two years. Two years! I am, I will say, I am very, very excited to be able to play um, Dawn Trail alongside everybody else. I have, that's that was my goal. My goal was to at least be able to play one of the, like, expansions at the same time as everybody else. I really want to be a part of the community in that way, and I, I, I'm very, very excited. You just like stretching out the fun? Hey, I like stretching out a lot of things. Really got the stamina to make all the high last as long as possible? Oh, you're telling me. Girl. Girl, you're telling me. The stamina, the stretching. <laughs> oh, my God. I, well, so, Elle, it's funny you say that. We'll make you into a raider before dawn trails or... Oh, my God! Yo, who dodged? Yo, who dodged? Holy fuck noodles. Are my alerts even on? Oh my God, they're not. So no one even heard the beauty that was Toad. Oh my God, dentist. Thank you for the 25 gifted subs. Holy fuck. Good, caught it before the hype train ended. You're, you're crazy. Thank you so much to everybody that got gifted a sub. Welcome to the coven of your badge remotes and your Can we get some hype in the chat, please? And thank you, Dentist. Dentist and Soren starting off the stream with already 35 gifted subs. Y'all are wildin'. Quick, more gifts we could cry before we even start. Y'all want to make my makeup run already? Come on. Come on. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, Evie. There's sub emotes. I'm so sorry, bestie. 
Oh, there's a lot of Baileys in this. Oh my god. Yo, who else is drinking tonight? We gonna need it. Mmm. <laughs> oh man. So, this is gonna be a long stream. How many of you are ready to sit with me for at least six hours? Selwyn, hello, hello, Shadow, hi! Thank you for the hydration, Lissy. I should probably get some water. Evie, thank you so much for the two month resub. Welcome to the coming to your and you stay. Okay, let me unmute my alerts. There we go. Okay, the alerts have been unmuted. You can hear them now if you give 10 or more. Is it 10 or more subs or 20 or more subs? I will sit as long as I stay away. Stay away, stay away, grandma. Also, how are you? How's your progression in FF14 going, by the way? Six hours, ancient cheery. I love you. <laughs> Rookie number six hours plus. Honestly, like, it, this is probably gonna be a fat stream. We'll see how long I can go. Cause like, here's the thing. I mean, all of you know this. Y'all watch me. Y'all know me. I get tired very easily. And I'm also a really big baby. I want to play as much of Endwalker as I can. But if for whatever reason it is starting to take a toll on me, I will take a break. And we'll just have to cliffhanger it. But we will finish it next week at the at most. Like, at most. If not tonight, next week. I'm, I'm really excited. I'm really, really excited. <laughs> oh my god. You fool! You fool! I mean, he has to do it for the tone. <laughs> do it for tone. Dentist, thank you for the 25 gifted. Oh my god, we're at 912. Chat, we are 88... 88 subs away from unlocking a new emote slot. I have been trying to unlock a new emote slot since my depression hit. I have not been able to maintain any fucking, like, I, I have not been able to hit my sub goal in like a year, two years almost, because of my depression. If we hit it tonight, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna cry. Evie! Evie, thank you for the five gifted! Thank you! And Tiamat, thank you so much as well for subbing to everybody that got gifted a sub and to everybody who has resubbed or is a new sub. Welcome to the coven. I hope you're a badger emotes and your state. Don't forget to attune to the pussy. Tiamat! Thank you for the five gifts and catch the Chat! Why? Shadows! <laughs> thank you for the five gifts and Wally, thank you so much for subbing! <laughs> Thank you so much! I don't even know what we're at! Well, thank you for the five gifted! I really appreciate it! Thank you! Uh, <laughs> thank you so much! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> Ali, thank you for the time Mr. P Dog, thank you for the prime sub. Don't forget if you have Amazon Prime, you can you have that means you have Twitch Prime, and that means you can sub to my channel for free and I still get paid. So if, if you have Twitch Prime, you can you can sub to my channel for free. Oh my god, thank you so much for all the gifted subs! I don't know what we're at anymore. It's not updating! Where are we at? <laughs> Thank you so much. Apparently we're about to be our last our last record. Our last hype train record. I don't know what that means. I've never we never did that before. What does that mean? I don't know what that means. Oh my god, we're at 955! Alex, like, thank you for the five gifts! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> 
We hit the record! I still don't know what that means! What does it mean? Twitch, what does it mean? Thank you for the 15 gift I don't even know if this is my makeup anymore if my face is just really red. Oh, we've hit our highest hype train? Hell yeah! Let's fucking go! Hell yeah! Oh my god, thank you! Thanks, chat! What the fuck? We're at level six? Yo, that's lit! Let's fucking go! Aren't you glad you fixed your lashes? I am! But I don't know how- We haven't even started playing the game! And I'm already, like, worried sick! Oh my god! Lynn! No! The Lynn! No! The Lynn! No! Thank you for the five gifted! Only 20 more? How do you know? How do you know? Oh, does it say? Oh my god. Almost at eleven hundred. What even is the next goal? What even is the next goal? I didn't know we were redeeming Tone Impressions. Yeah! <laughs> I don't even. I don't even know what the next goal would be. The next goal is twelve hundred. Damn, is it gonna go up in increments of 200? Okay, let me update this then. I'm like, I'm shaking. <laughs> that sounds like a challenge. <laughs> yeah, the next goal is 1200. I have no clue what we're at right now, but we're at the level 7 entry. That's pretty sick. We're at, oh, we're at 1,000, 1,062. Or 1,062 subs. Y'all are too much. Thank you so much for helping me hit my sub goal. I really appreciate it. It may not seem like a big deal to a lot of y'all, but it's a really big deal for me, so thank you. <laughs> it was like 
like one of my bigger insecurities with returning to stream because I would only stream like once a month or maybe like twice a month and I couldn't like I couldn't work again I just I couldn't <laughs> I didn't work for months <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for helping me hit my goal. <laughs> I can't even like wipe off my makeup because it'll smudge. I can't do anything right now. You defeated me. <laughs> like, uh, you beat me. <laughs> I I have to just sit here. <laughs> It's so salty, it keeps going in my mouth! <laughs> Boss battle music, though. It better be. It better be cool. I better have some good boss battle music. <laughs> Wholesome Sarah is a wonderful song. <laughs> Thank you, Matt, for the 14 month reset. <laughs> Thank you to everybody that gave to the sub. Thank you so much. <laughs> and to everybody that got gifted to the sub, welcome to the cabin. I hope you enjoy your badge, your emotes, and your stay. <laughs> Can we get some hype in the chat for everyone that gifted subs? Especially Dentist. Dentist, you popped off. <laughs> uh, I'm supposed to be crying because of MSQ, not because of y'all. Fuck. Okay. <sighs> we received a level 6 hype train Oh, it's so cute! Wait! Look at this emote I just got! It's so cute! It's so cute! <laughs> oh my god. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. <laughs> Can I get an honorary cry count? You know what? Yes. Yes. For you, for you, I will, I will boost this by one. Oh my God. Yes. Give me tissues. <laughs> oh my God. No one else gets this privilege. Okay. Actually, technically it's, it's a culmination of all of you. So I guess all of you technically get this privilege. Oh man. Fuck chat. <laughs> I, I'll get some water later. I'll just drink my hot cocoa. <laughs> like, look, we're in the quad digits. I've never been in the quad digits before. <laughs> I've never had this much before. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, there is technically water in this because I made this with my Keurig and my Keurig uses water, so there's hot cocoa water and Baileys in here, so technically I'm hydrating with this. Oh. I gotta take a picture of this. Hold on. <laughs> Say hi, chat! <laughs> Say hi! <laughs>
have to say. <laughs> that new pin tweet? Man, I don't think I don't think I could ever replace my pin tweet chat. My pin tweet is so good. For those of you who have never seen it, I don't know how many of y'all don't actually follow me on Twitter, but this I can't get rid of this. I can't rid of the can't get rid of this. This was the day after my boy died. <laughs> We can't, we can't do this. It's too iconic. It's too iconic to think this was a year ago. Can you believe that? This was last year. Do you think we're gonna get this level of tears again? Do y'all think Endwalker is gonna make me cry like this again? Cause I will say, I will say, Endwalker has made me cry. Shadowbringers made me cry really bad. But like nothing, nothing in this game has raw dog me as hard as Zephyr's fucking light spear. You want to challenge Yoshi B? Ishikawa, please spare me. Please. Chat has already made me cry. Please spare me. I don't know how much more of this I can take. Okay, chat is bugging out again. Let's see if we can refresh it. Chat, can you spam in the chat real quick? There we go, perfect. Okay, you're all visible. Great, 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 great. Good, 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 good. Awesome. I just had to make sure that we were all good. <sighs> wow. Well, I guess I'm gonna end stream now. Thanks, everyone. <laughs> Yo, what's up, the man himself? Listen, you challenged him to to white hair, Emmett. I did. I will never let myself live that down. I actually cannot let myself live that down. I cannot believe. Oh my God! Okay, like that's it. That's it. Anytime I get 20 plus gifted subs, I gotta tote it out. I, I have no choice now. Y'all are going to bananas. I have to give it back. I have to give it back. Baby, all I want for Christmas is you! <laughs> Oh my god, we're gonna hit 1100, holy fuck. To everybody that got gifted a sub, welcome to the company of your bed, your votes, and your stay. Thank you. Oh man. Oh my god. I'm not gonna have a throat. Like, I'm gonna be so fucked up in the morning tomorrow. Thank god. I'm just going to the ballet. Thank God I'm just going to the ballet and I'll be okay. Wait, this, the alerts are in Cyrus' voice, right? Are they? No, I don't think it's not me, but I mean, it could be. Maybe, maybe I should, I should do my own. Should I do my own version of Toad? So like, if you gift like, I don't know, like 50 or something, it's just me singing. Hello, little bitty! Pretty sorry after a long day of work. Life is good. On it, oh, like, when y'all say stuff like that, I don't think y'all know, like, what that even, like, does, like, for my self esteem as a content creator. Like,. Oh. Y'all have already fucked up my eyelashes, but like, I don't know, to like know that people like to like come hang out and unwind with me and like their spare time, like that's so crazy. Like that's so crazy to me. So like, thanks everybody for hanging out with me. I'm glad you like my company. It means a lot to me. 
Uh, I'm gonna keep crying. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep crying. I'm a disabled trans guy. Wait, uh, I'm a disabled trans guy. Do you know how often I find a safe and welcoming community like yours? That means a lot to me, Doria. Thank you. I try really, really hard to make my community as safe of a place as possible. And I know, like, it's not easy. Like, there's so many nuances to, like, what... <laughs> like, what is considered, like, safe. And, like, you know... And I try my best, so thank you. <laughs> Honestly, shout out to my mods. Like, they're the ones that, like... <laughs> that, like, do all the heavy lifting there, so... You should thank them. They do a lot of hard work when I'm not looking. <laughs> I don't do shit true, you're right, my bad. <laughs> I can't, I can't, I can't handle the kindness. We need to play the game. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep crying. <laughs> Hi, <laughs> you too, Ash. Man, if anyone had any doubts, having about cyber shoots, she is what you see, is what you get. Thank you, Danny. <laughs> I try really hard. Thank you. <laughs> I try really hard. So thank you. <laughs> I wouldn't gift all these subs for anyone. <laughs> You're an amazing person, deserve the world. Thank you, Dentist. I really do appreciate that. I don't get to catch the streams often, so I'm glad I can finally watch and support. You're an inspiration to many, and you're so genuine and beautiful soul. You deserve success and happiness. Thank you, Matt Ben. It's very sweet of you to say thank you. You just drop this like fat fucking 25 like subs and then you say that like come on what the fuck mm. Hello void summit welcome Hi Sire. I'm relatively new to chat in the stream and I just wanted to say that the last few nights I've really been looking forward to your streams Oh thank you You're such a fun and positive energy to happiness Thank you mm. <laughs> Wait. Hold on, let me read this and then and, and then I'll I'll say what I have to say. Um, I absolutely adore you and your community. I was so happy to finally find a creator with the same interest. Your community is so loving and loves it's fine to see so much love in one place. Thank you, Italic Pizza. That's very sweet of you to say as well. I'm glad we got to meet. I'm really glad we got to meet. Um um, I have, I'm, I'm so sorry chat, but I, I'm not as genuine and as good of a person as you all think. I did something really bad. <laughs> I did something really awful. For the first time in my entire life, I lied to you all. I told you I'd put up the Orshiva body pillow and I never did. I completely forgot. I'm so sorry. I was getting dick down instead. And I forgot to put up the body pillow. I'm so sorry! I'm so sorry! <laughs> I hope you all can forgive me. Someone else was attuning! Oh no! I can put it up now. Do you guys want me to get Orshifa? I feel like I need him for the stream. I feel like we need to get the Orshifa body pillow out. 
Should I try setting it up? <laughs> Hi, Jay. Hey, Sire, you're hot, Kappa. No, but really, I haven't been here much, but it's obvious how much the community cares to you and how deeply that love is reciprocated. This place is really special, and you made it, and that's really special, too. Thank you, Wallen. Thank you. I did my best. <laughs> I just wanted to create a safe little space on the internet for other queer and like people of color so they could hang out and talk about the stuff they like in a safe space. So I'm really glad I was able to do that. <laughs> I'm always sad we didn't take a picture because I forgot. Oh, it's okay. I'm really bad at asking uh, people to take photos with me unless I'm with my best friend Molly or <laughs> I'm really drunk. Okay, let me go get Orshimon. And and my and my powder cuz I I need a I need to pat up my my powder, my my, my face cuz y'all have <laughs> Y'all fucked me good. <laughs> I'll be right back, chat. Thank you for the hydration. <laughs> Uh, can we get some hype in the chat one more time for the entire community? Like, y'all. Y'all slay. <laughs> I saw that, Kelsey! I saw that! Okay. All right. I'm gonna. I'm. I forgot the makeup. That's fine. Honestly, does it does it matter? Honestly, if I if I fix up my makeup or not? All right. We're gonna. All right, chat. We're gonna. Oh, fuck my controller. We're gonna stuff or chiffon together. Okay. Shout out to dentist. If I'm not wrong, it was Dentist who bought me this. Oh my god. So I don't have like body pillows, so we have to put my arthritis pillows in it. And I don't actually use these to sleep anymore. I use them for other reasons. But I mean, I guess it's a good thing they're going into Orshifon, right? <laughs> Look, all I'm saying is sometimes you gotta you gotta get that you gotta get that good angle, okay? <laughs> this is this is all I can do. Oh my god, his he's got feet. He's barefoot. Wait, does Emmett have feet? I don't think Emmett has feet. But Orshifon has feet. The Orsha feet. <laughs> This is as this is the as much stuffing as I could possibly put in him for now. I have to buy um, body pillows at some point, but for now, I don't think I've ever been happier. <laughs> y'all better y'all better not be talking about the hole in his chest, okay? I I see y'all.
Now I have two husbands. I have one here and one here. This is amazing. Okay. Well, I will be calling onto you at some point during MSQ because I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna need a lot of support. I'm gonna need my tank. Okay. But for now, I'm gonna put my boy right here. Um, but I, I am gonna touch up my makeup because I am getting a little bit, a little bit insecure. So I'm gonna be right back, chat, and then we're going to dive into Endwalker. I just want to say really quickly, like I've been live for an hour, and during this, like not even like the hour, but the last like 40 minutes, oh, you all made my entire like entire night. And we have an ad break going, so can we get a command ads in chat? I didn't even notice that was happening. I was too busy caressing Orshmont, but. And seriously, thank you all so much for all the love that you've given me. I really appreciate it. And I still, like, to this day, don't know what I ever did to deserve any of this. Honestly, but... You know, I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to question it. I'm, I'm not going to... I don't want to question it, so... I'm going to... I'm going to go touch up my makeup, and then we will dive into Endwalker. So just give me... Just give me a couple minutes. We love you even though you like to <laughs> Sorry. <laughs>
back, come back. It's time. It's time. I put on more blush too. I, I couldn't fix it too, too much, but I, I did what I could. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, no, no more stalling, it's time. It's, it's actually Endwalker time, are y'all ready? A stalling way, oh my god, I'm stalling way, stop. Hello, Johnny, hello, hello. Hello, Mitch, hello. What has been the highlight of everyone's day? Oh my god. I don't even know. <laughs> Did you just give Popeyes a sub? Are we getting Popeyes tonight? <laughs> Welcome to the coven, Popeyes. Um, so far, the highlight of my day has also been this stream. Um, we are finishing Final Fantasy XIV Endwalker tonight, hopefully. And chat gifted me, like... Over, like, they gave, gifted me, like, 200 subs. And we hit my 1,000 sub goal that I've had for, like off and on for like a year and a half or two years this is my first time like streaming consistently again after like months of not working so that's the highlight so far oh i'm gonna cry again i just i just i just i just fixed my makeup <laughs> Thank you, Mitch. Thank you. And welcome to the stream. Hello, Kiko. Hello, Emmy. Hello. Thank you, presently here. Thank you. I'm here for the crying. Oh, God. Get ready, then. All right. Can't cry about stuff. You cry about the game. That's very true. That's very true. All right. Y'all ready? <laughs> Y'all ready? <laughs> Fuck, oh my god. It's Ed Walker time. 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 Yo, can we get some nodders in the chat real quick? Are we ready? I'm just jumping here myself. Holy fuck. <laughs> Alright, how's the audio chat? Is the music too loud? Are we good? Soren, you fucker! Thank you! Thank you for the 10 gifted subs! Thank you, thank you, thank you to everybody that got gifted a sub! Welcome to the coven! I hope you enjoy your badger remotes and your stay. Oh my god, my sub goal doesn't even fit on the stream anymore. Holy shit! There we go! <laughs> Let me adjust it actually. I think that's under. There we go. Hi, Jemmo! Thank you! Thank you so much! Welcome in! Welcome, welcome! Mm. True, my cry counter does fit. Do y'all think... Do y'all think we're gonna hit 100 on this? Okay. Who thinks we're gonna be in the triple digits by the end of the stream? Let me see a show of hands. Who thinks we're gonna be in the triple digits? Jambo, also hello. How how are you doing? How are you? Do you play Final Fantasy 14? Are you a Final Fantasy 14 gamer on the down low? <laughs> Beef hard cheese, yo. That's a fire username. That is a fire username. Easily, 100%. Alec, what the fuck? Wait, where are my alerts? The alert didn't even go off. Where are my alerts? Thank you for the 11 gifted subs! <laughs> thank you! Yes, <laughs> thank you so much. We're at 1100! We're 100 subs away from my next goal, y'all! Y'all are bonkers! You have played? Ooh, where are you in the game? Do you know? When was the last time you played? We should play together. I. This is the case, okay, so... You know, I know we're kind of still derailing a little bit, but listen, 
I'm not really good at playing games online with people. Are you gonna hit me? Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna play, don't worry. Um, but yeah, I'm not really good at playing online games with other people because of my social anxiety. Um, but with this game, I it's a whole nother ballpark. I love playing with people. I love playing with people. I love making new friends. I love introducing people to it. Um, and I feel confident with my gameplay because like you can't there isn't really like a skill gap per se like unless you're you know doing like extreme rating or anything like that ERP but you know you can just go in and have fun and I love that you know like I'm not saying I'm bad at video games I'm not it's just I don't have performance anxiety in this game and that's coming from someone who's a tank <laughs> uh, so yeah, so if you ever want to group up and play, you let me know. I need to pick up the game again. I tried the trial, loved it, but then the universe, but then university begun and I got busy. That is completely fair. Well, the game isn't going anywhere. Listen, I highly recommend playing the award winning, the award winning. I highly recommend playing the critically acclaimed MMORPG Final Fantasy XIV. And since, and since you've only done the free trial, I can safely assume you've never played Happens Ward. So we've got to catch you up. Not bad at video games, cause I am, but I'd be Bloodborne. Listen, I don't. Okay, you you can't call yourself a bad gamer or a good gamer when it comes to Soulsborne games, because I don't think it's a skill issue with those games. Honestly, it's not a skill thing. I think it's like partially a luck thing and like a timing thing and like a glitching thing. Cause I'm pretty good at those games, but I also get stuck. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah. Well, I just have to check something really, really quick, chat, and then we can we can uh, start Endwalker. So give me one second, chat. But yeah, I highly recommend playing Final Fantasy XIV. Literally, I'm not kidding, chat. I will play with every single one of you if need be. We have an FC. Um, for those of you that don't know what that is, that's just a guild. It's a free company, um, and you can join it. We have so many players who love playing with newbies, who love running content, who are on 24-7. So I'm one of those people. So you can play with us whenever you want. We'll run content with you. We'll go through the story with you. We can help you get cool glams um, and like farm farm glams. We can farm fucking mounts, whatever it is you need. Yeah. Okay. Let me just check this one thing real quick and then we'll dive into the... Into the um, Oh my god, I'm, I'm like, I'm exhausted. I'm already exhausted. Chat, do I need to turn up um, the um, audio, by the way, or are we okay? spam chat really quick welcome side piece welcome 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 <laughs> gone yes okay i made it thicker hopefully it's a little bit more legible now all right okay we're good we're good we're good Hope you're well. Thank you, side piece. I hope you're well as well. All right. Cool, 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 cool. Are we ready? <laughs> so Chad, I'm so scared. Hi, friends! Hello! Wait. Is 
Is this, is this, do I? Who, sweet, hello. Who's this dead person? Who's dead here? Is that Bishop? Bishop, you good? <laughs> Ugh, fuck. Audio and lighting are fabulous, perfect. Hello, Swift. Hi, Jace. Hello, Captain Boredom. Hi, Sarah. Cheers to your ongoing success. You deserve every bit of support and love. Continue being you because people recognize genuine soul and you have that in, sp in speed. Thank you for doing what you feel and making people say a bit easier. Thank you, Cosmic. Y'all keep saying that, like, I have a genuine soul, and it's like, y'all feel like a grandma. Like, tell me that you like my soul and shit. Like, thank you. Thanks, grandma. Chat, you're my grandma now. Thank you. I love my grandma. Oh, I get kids. <laughs> no problem. No problem, child. Oh, all right. I've clicked him. I've touched him. I've touched him. Okay, before I even read what he says. Woo! Angel number. Sub, our sub count is 1111. We love to see it. All right. Before I even read what he says, can we get some smiles in the chat? Let's get some smiles in the chat because remember, a smile better suits a spoiler. No spoilers moving forward, no hinting at anything. Y'all know the drill, all right? And when I ask questions, they're always rhetorical. I do not want an answer unless I specifically ask for a cup of hot chocolate. And I rarely do because the game usually answers all my questions for me. But remember, chat, a smile, and it suits a spoiler. <sighs> and also, I want some, some nuggets from Popeyes. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right, here we go. I dare say Master Fauchino was as non, as nonplussed as we to learn the identity of Hydaelyn's lunar custodians. As you will soon discover, they have much and more to offer the forum. Might I suggest we return to the Annex for Whip? We may yet have time to discuss the thy recent Avengers ere we are summoned to the Rostra. Oh god, I have to tell them about... I have to tell them about Vanna! Wait, now you want me to walk all the way over there? Yo, are y'all gonna come with me? Are y'all gonna come on a little journey with me? Are we walking together? Fuck. Man. Return to the main hall of the Baldessian Annex. I will say, chat, I love the name Baldessian. Baldessian? Baldessian. Like, I love that. Telk Telkni? Hello! Am I pronouncing that correctly? Hi, hi, hi. I wasn't here when you said you finished Animal Crossing, but good luck. LMO. Thanks, Larry. Thank you. Oh, we're all going. We're all going on this little adventure. Come on, Keaton! Oh, we gotta wait for Keaton. Thank you for the thousand bits! Thank you! Hi, smile. Hi! Shit, chat. You all fucking failed me again. No one told me to get a new cable for my controller. I'm bugging. I'm bugging. <laughs> uh, old Charlian is so beautiful. I can't wait to, like, I don't know, like, maybe unlock more stuff here. I'm, sh I'm sure there's more things that I can do here. <gasps> you know what I haven't done in a while? My Chloe journal. I can't wait to, oh my God, my controller. I can't wait to start like farming things in this game again. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're okay now. Go this way. Hello, Dev and the Doctor. I know, we're past a thousand now. We're at 1111. I maybe bring a couple of cables with me when I go to Toronto. Iconic. Yo, KupoCon got me fucking... Everyone going to KupoCon has got me, like... In, in their paw, you know? I'm doing a follow so I can keep an eye on chat. Oh, that makes sense, Kelsey. Thank you. I appreciate you. Are we all coming in? <laughs> ah... Cutscene, it is. Is it voice though? It doesn't look like it. Oh, time for my critically acclaimed voice acting. We're all 
of staring at me. This is, oh my god, wait, I just noticed he stole us there. Oh, mommy! Not that I'm complaining, Orianje, but I wasn't expecting to see you quite so soon. Nor I thee. In extolling the virtues of Theris, I did inadvertently awaken the Lopret's desire to avert our beloved star's demise. Kryle tells us you have obtained new knowledge that may aid us in our ongoing efforts. I have news to share regarding our study of the Ethereal Sea, but your findings are certain to be of greater interest, and so I would rather hear them first. To what revelations did Hydaelyn's Elpis flower lead? Oh boy! Well, how do I... How do I say this? <laughs> Then this dynamis is what drives the final days. If it and Akasha are one and the same, this all but proves the Tana's theory. What? What entity, through sheer force of emotion, to channel this vast, dormant reservoir into a raging river, its power might surpass even that of ether? But if our star is so replete with ether, said entity would need to be outside its influence to effectively manipulate the dynamics of the great expanse. Meteor. Or rather, the sorrow and suffering of fallen civilizations that she has been hoarding for millennia. Hmm. Don't say millennia, now it sounds even worse. Untold anguish and fear and hatred, drawn from every corner of the universe, all for a single purpose. The destruction of the theorists. God, my wife just knows how to unravel all of the mysterious things that I say. <laughs> then our foe is no longer some unknowable calamity. We have but one aim to defeat Meteor. You make it sound so simple, but you're not wrong. Vanquish Meteor and we deliver the world from the final days. Let's even attempt it. There are two conditions. First, we must determine her location. Before Meteon escaped, an enchantment was placed upon her by Benar, the woman who, became, who would become Hydaelyn. Uh -huh, mommy! Oh my god. Just like the thought of Benar being Hydaelyn just makes me, you know? The implications of temporal magics are not entirely understood, and so we cannot assume that a Hydaelyn and the Benar you met in Elpis are one and the same. Nevertheless, due to her intrinsic intrinsic qualities as an all-powerful being, I'd wager that Heinlein possesses the knowledge we seek. Whether she would share that knowledge with us, however, remains to be seen. Sarah nodders, Sarah wiggles, Sarah wiggles, Sarah wiggles, Sarah wiggles, Sarah wiggles, Sarah loves, Sarah loves, Sarah loves, Sarah loves 17 months. Thank you for the 17 months, Rory. I really appreciate it. And thanks to you, I have now remembered that I need to adjust my audio. Alert, so they're muted during MSQ. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Time to throw them off. Thank you so much for the prime sub. I appreciate it. Alright. After all, she intends for us to flee a theorist, not to stay. Do you suppose she has abandoned her pursuit of Meteon? The Venar I know would never give up. No, but Meteon is still out there. First one. The Venar I know would never give up. That's my impression too. Otherwise she wouldn't have used me as a conduit for her will, or provided me clues such as the Elpis flower. I believe she has been waiting. Mankind's answer to Hermes' question. It's the question. What are we alive? Like, why are we alive? What are we here for? Um. So, what's the second condition? We must find a means to reach Meteon. Naturally, our chosen method will depend entirely upon wherever, wheresoever she may have Wheresoever she has made her nest. Then com communing with Hydaelyn must be ne oh my god. 
<laughs> Chat, fuck. Then communing with Hydaelyn must be necessity come first. Must by necessity come first. Did you and Master Matoya have any luck with your investigation to the Ethereal Sea? Sadly not. Though we enlisted the help of Aronvold and other Echo Blessed allies, we couldn't detect so much as a whisper from Hydaelyn, even from within the Outer Tower. Master Matoya is of the opinion that in the six years since abandoning it, the Forum has found some other method of receiving instructions from Hydaelyn. If so, it would most likely be some form of apparatus for observing the Ethereal Sea, built closer to home. Someone's at the door. Who is it? Sorry to interrupt, we've just received wor word from the Forum. Your presence is required in the Rostra, where they intend to discuss the Great Exodus. Then Father was able to persuade them. Seems a little bit too PMA though, I gotta I gotta be honest. They're finally taking us seriously. Let's hear what they have to say. I don't know. I don't know. I'm I I don't know. Hey chat, I have a question. How the hell do I turn off Steam alerts? Because if I see Ashley reboot it takes two one more time in the next two seconds i will yell <laughs> ashley babe i love you but i have seen you try to boot up it takes two every two seconds during that cutscene. i'm it's, it's been three four times since i've said this five times how do i fucking turn off those pings because i'm going to go insane it takes two to boot up, just quit Steam, lol. I cannot because I have this game on Steam. Steam signs and turn everything off. Thank you. Love you, Ash. But I swear to God, I hope you figure out how to boot up It Takes Two. It's a great game. Fantastic game, but I never want to see you boot it up ever again. <laughs> I don't even know if she's in here still. <sighs> okay, got into my Square Enix now. I get paid on money, so I know what I'll be buying. Hell yeah, Mitch! Fuck yeah! Well, welcome back. Let me know and let chat know when you're back in the game, alright? Yo, my wrist is hurting. The carpal tunnel is going crazy today. But we'll be fine. Right. Let's speak with the Rostra steward. Wait, I'm gonna go talk to everybody real quick. Hello, wife! To think the Crystal Tower of the First was capable of such feats. Feats as any one soul to the distant past. The events you witnessed and helped shape may yet hold the key to restoring the final days. A reminder of dear friends in a future I unmade, whose selfless efforts saw the eighth umbral calamity averted. In this timeline, at least. Too much has been sacrificed for us to abandon the theorists now. <laughs> I literally love Graha. After sending Graha and Asinian back to Garlemald, I stayed in Locus Aminas for a time. Being an imperial province, it was already in turmoil before the onset of the final days. We wouldn't believe the difficulties we had overseeing the evacuation of the villages we visited. I have faith the detachment we left behind will continue our work and shepherd the people to safety. To what safety can be found in a world coming to an end? Look at mommy, she's so cunty. Look at her. Look at Ishtola. Honestly, we are so undeserving of her. This, like, she, I think, is literally the hottest fucking woman I've ever seen in my entire life. Like, are you kidding? She is perfect. I had to finish my Ishtola cosplay ASAP. Master Matoya has suspected for some time that the Forum has been constructing a new facility for the purpose of surveying, surveying the Ethereal Sea. Of course, as the custodian of the Anti Tower, which would presumably be rendered obsolete as a result, she has a few things to say about that. Nothing that should be repeated in polite company, you understand. Did I. Did I even accept that? I did. Okay. Split. Oh my god. My controller? Controller, please? Oh my god, my controller. It's sad that everyone forgets about her sister and that she exists. Uh, Yumitra? I did not forget about Yumitra, okay? Ooh, yeah, no, Sadu is also waifu as fuck. I want Sadu to beat me to a pulp. But she's reserved for Gain, I will say. I'm on all fours. 
perfect stream for my lunch break? Oh, hell yeah, Vanish. Hell yeah, get comfy. We got a long stream a coming. Let's look at Alize. Well, that was a much quicker response than I was ex expecting. Nice to know our efforts on the Magna Glaciers didn't go unnoticed. Father has granted us the opportunity we've been waiting for. Though we know not what information, if any, they intend to reveal. So only one way to find out. To the Rostra. I hope you don't mind me staying behind while you attend your big meeting. The Rostra reminds me a bit too much of the su supremely scary tribunal in Ishgard. <laughs> you forgive me if I keep my distance. Oh my god. Not the heavens were a callback. After you left for Golemold, I worked to Labyrinthos lab 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 and tried to reach Hydal and use the Elpis flowers. Alas, my attempts were in vain. I can only assume that she spent a vast amount of her power in the confrontation with Van Daniel and is presently unable to communicate. Indeed, as her presence left my body, I could feel how faint it had grown. Alright, what's up, husband? At first, I wasn't sure what to make of Hermes and his motives. But it's like we discussed the great work. When faced with the harsh realities of life, some seek the release of death. Others grow defiant. They fight. By the way, it is our right to choose. That was kind of deep, I'm not gonna lie. Hey, thank you for adding C2 to your stream. I am Def, and I really find streamers with CC on. You're awesome. Hell yeah. Look, I think closed captioning is super important because a lot of people need CC. And I am so sorry that for a couple of months I didn't have CC on. We removed it because of Baldur's Gate 3. Like, they had some sort of, like, add-on for Twitch. And I absolutely forgot to add it back to, um, to Twitch. So, thank you to everybody who has been reminding me to turn it back on. It'll, we're gonna install a different CC method. I think it's the one that Danny uses. Um, so I'm gonna get grandma to help me set that up. That way it is actually in stream, like in OBS, and I never have to worry about it like being off and on. Mango, thank you for gifting Andrew a sub. Andrew, welcome to the Covenant of your Badgermos and your stay. I hope the captions are accurate enough. <laughs> It was Heidelin's commandment that in the event Zodiac should perish, the Lopperits were to deliver the people of Etheris from harm. Though that be the limit of their duties, they possess knowledge unparalleled of the great expanse and the means of its traversal. Should they be persuaded to assist in our efforts to reach Meteon, we would do well to heed their counsel. Oh my god. Imagine the bunnies fling us into, like, Meteon's lair. Accurate, so you talking pepperies? Okay, that's fair. That's absolutely fair. Okay, but we love Pepperies. Okay. Pepperies may not <gasps> Hello Kim! Pepperies may not be the most like efficient language to use, but it gets the job done. We need a Pepperies translator. Imagine in my fanfic Pepper doesn't talk. I literally just type in me, 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 me. <gasps> Hello Raya! Hello! Hello. Hello, Kieran. You'll come with me. I've lost some of you already. I wonder where everyone went. I can feel Pepper like glitching out a little bit because my controller is a little bit wonky. <laughs> it's lore accurate. At the very least. Just like go around here again. Oh, I love the gloomy weather here. I love like the Grecian vibes of old Charlian. Oh. <gasps> Hello, Yosef. Oh, there's a Keaton, and there's a Kim. Oh, I guess I could have just TP'd. <laughs> We're populating the town. Oh, guys, my arthritis is actually really, really bad on this arm. Holy fuck. I may have to take some Advil in a bit. I'm gonna try to take it a little easy. Oh, thank you for the kissy. The forum is in session, and as such, the roster is close to visitors. I'm Pepper, though. Scion of the Seventh Dawn. Very well. You may wait in the corridor. Of course, entry will only be permitted on the condition you leave your armaments at the door. Lest you forget, the sacred institution holds rational discourse in the highest. The implements of war are expressly forbidden. So they want me to take off my sword? My cool big sword? Fine. <gasps> what? It's a wild vow! Oh my 
like, wait, Vo, are you taller than me? Oh my god, Vo is taller than me. Honestly, I'm okay with this. You know what? I support Vo being taller than me. Look how cute Vo is. I love me a blue kitty girl. Blue cat girls with white hair? I'm just saying. I hope your fake farming is going well, Elle. Oh, we wait here. Wait, should I change my outfit? Should I change my outfit so I look professional? Does this make me look professional? <laughs> I hope it does. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna get like a dramatic cutscene or anything, but it just felt right. It just felt right to change my outfit. Oh God. Okay, let's see how this goes. Beautiful nose. Oh. Ooh. Little Alfino. Little lord. There is a matter I wish to raise with you before we enter. What's up? We are here to listen and to learn. But if the forum's plans are more or less what I expect, then I should like to make a proposal that will serve our ends. By your leave, of course. This better be I don't good. see why not. Your words and wits have gotten us this far. Far from the crystal raves. <laughs> Agreed. I will present our queries so that you may consider the most advantageous way to advance your proposal without distraction. Teamwork. Makes Thank you, everyone. Dream work. If I may have your attention, the ad hoc session will now commence. Oh, the purpose of really today's intense. assembly is to brief the scions of the Seventh Dawn at their request on the Great Exodus. Mm. You may enter. I can't get over how beautiful Alfino's outfit is. The, like, upgrade in details. Um, like in the minor details in Endwalker are just so gorgeous. Like even their outfits, like the forums. Love it. The intricacies. On behalf of the forum, I commend your heroic actions on the Magna Glacius. We shall not soon forget Glacius, your service to right, us and that. the people of Rads at Hard. The Sartrap, whom we have informed of the refugees' new arrangements, sings your praises as well. As an expression of our gratitude, we will endeavor to answer your questions as fully and openly as we are able. Then let us begin. First, it is the Forum's objective to ferry the life and knowledge of this star to the moon. Am I correct? You are. It is for this purpose that Charlian has labored these many long years. We have collected biological samples and scientific records from across the star. When the time comes, they will be moved from their places in Labyrinthos and Numenon and conveyed to safety. Numenon sounds Once so critical like, task like it came out of Tolkien's Legendary. We will begin transporting the Charlian citizenry which has been mm. categorized into groups. The earliest arrivals are to ensure hospitable environs for those who come after. Wait, what's the cat? What are the categories Following though? Following our people, we will send those of other nations in turn, beginning with our allies. Okay, fair. Radzat Han was foremost among these, but since the final days have already come to Thavnir, we saw fit to include the refugees with earlier groupings. An ambitious plan. You have accounted for the safety of all nations and tribes, then? As many as we can. And how, pray tell, do you decide who to leave behind? Mm. 
To journey beyond the sky is an unprecedented and immeasurably difficult endeavor. Introducing sources of inevitable conflict would condemn all to certain death. Questions as to the validity of that approach aside. I keep thinking of Elon Musk and sending the rich. To are the your moon plans proceeding Mars, in pace? Rather. We're under the impression that your primary means of celestial transportation is incomplete. Okay, the drama. The angle. If only in that it does not meet our optimal parameters, that is correct. This arc, as some have taken to calling it, is fully Forward's operational arc. and could be launched even to Noah's arc. <laughs> However, the final days have progressed more quickly than we anticipated. At present, the ship is incapable of attaining speeds sufficient to meet our evacuation targets. Should we put the vessel into service, as it is now, we will be unable to travel to the moon and back quickly enough to complete the necessary number of trips. Precious lives and knowledge will be lost. Mm. Seven hells. Is there anything to be done? The ether burner, the primary means of propulsion once the craft is in the space between stars, is undergoing testing to determine whether it can be made more efficient. Though cargo is being loaded for the initial phase of the exodus, we are prepared to continue our experimentation up to the day before launch, should it prove necessary. What if the Scions were to solve your problem? We shall help devise a means to improve the ether burner's efficiency on two conditions. If we succeed, you must allow us to meet with Hydaelyn. It was simple enough to deduce. You have a Concord, and so you would never have abandoned the Anti Tower had you no other means of communication. One far more convenient. I suspect. I'm gonna shit. The second condition, also to be met upon our success, is that we be permitted to propose another use for your Ark. We would be at liberty to refuse this proposal. Of course. If we cannot prove its merit to the 99 here, who are we to stake on it the lives of all peoples of this star? <laughs> Delightful as always, Master Alfina. Hmm. <laughs> oh, we couldn't have asked for a finer plan. Allow us to solve this complex engineering problem of which we were entirely unaware until moments ago. What could possibly go wrong? Do not <laughs> doubt us, the okay? The satire writes itself. Come on. <laughs> Yet, what field has not benefited from a change in perspective? When we are at wit's end, what we need is not the same dry theories recited ad nauseam, but fresh inspiration. He's in favor. I, for one, have faith in my erstwhile students to provide it, and I find their terms to be perfectly acceptable. Slay! Come on, Monty! Order, order! We have no time to waste on debate. <sighs> I call a vote. Come on, come on. All in favor of agreeing to the Scion's terms? Come on! Give us a shot. Give the little guys a shot. Come on. <gasps> slay, slay. Huh? Aw, oh, fuck you, white hair dude. Slay. Okay. 
I see a lot of hands going up. I see some of y'all with your hands down, though. Mm -hmm. That white-haired man betrayed me. <laughs> 71 in favor, 28 against. The eyes have it. I. The eyes have it. I. <laughs> For Cheneau, as the architect of this project, you are the best candidate to show them its current state. And bear in mind that regardless of your personal misgivings, this is the will of the Forum. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Very well. <sighs> Gotta work side by side with Daddy now. I call this session to a close. Return to your tasks with urgency. Yo, the final do you days think wait for none. Amelia or Amelians and Fortuno need like a mistress? Pepper's roster is looking a little a little empty right now. Just saying. Just saying. <laughs> Hi, Bo. All right, let's see what they have to say. Bells. Perhaps if Midgar Summer was still alive in the traditional sunset is, he could have offered to help the vessel attain the, ne the necessary speeds. Oh, a stinny a new dragon fucker. Then again, there's no guarantee his contribution would make enough of a difference to matter. The further we pursue the mysteries of the universe, the more we struggle to comprehend the fortuitous nature of time itself. We measure and quantify it based on observations of celestial bodies, such as the sun and moon. From your account, it is unclear whether the ancients viewed time in a similar manner. I mention this because while Vinar knew the final days would re reoccur at a defined point in the future, she presumably had no way of knowing exactly when. Even so, the completion of the form's preparations to escape to the moon aligning so closely with the advent of the final days is surely no coincidence. I am so excited. To see where this fucking goes. I'm so excited to see where this goes. <laughs> we saw you across the form and really dig your vibe. <laughs> Don't kill me. Also, welcome to the uh, welcome to the stream, empty tuxedo. What's up? Hello, hello. I'm a little vexed that we've yet to learn of the forum's replacement for the anti tower. Though I expect that in time they'll share that too with us and with Massimo Toya if they've any sense. Oh, and that bring up the issue of the bring up the issue of the forum's incom incomplete arc was not a little daunting. They were, to their credit, quite open about the current state of affairs. What was even more surprising, though, was when they took Alfino up on his offer. I know I'm so proud of my boy. While I very much take issue with the forum's approach to selecting whom to save and when, they're not wrong for wanting to minimize potential conflicts. Fortunately, if this plan of ours actually works, the Great Exodus itself will become entirely unnecessary. Did I speak to these two? I did not. Of late, I have seen no sign of the Lockerets. This being their first opportunity to experience the wonders of Charlie and the potential for misadventures in the High Infinite. Not misadventure. My affinity for espionage may have earned me the title of Archon, but I was completely unaware of the Forum's plans. There may have been clues here and there, and had I been of a mind to look for them, but contemplating that possibility only serves to further wound my pride. Not that anyone could have realistically surmised that their brilliant stratagem was to build a giant ship, fly to the moon, so a larger vessel in truth, and use that to travel to another star. Even now, the whole idea seems positively absurd when spoken out loud. Yeah, but remember, Shatterbringers, that was also fucking absurd, okay? Alright, what's up, Fortune? No! Rest assured, I have every intention of honoring the forum's decision. Well, okay. Someone tell me I don't need to buy anything from Blackware's Blackware Bioware's Black Friday sale. You do. Buy some Dragon Age stuff. Sorry about not letting the rest of you in, my, in on my plan. I was admittedly thinking of my feet for the most part. But since we require both means of communing with Hydaelyn and reaching Meteon, in the spur of the moment I saw involving ourselves with the completion of the Ark as a way to work towards both objectives simultaneously. Is this really the right thing to do, to say this out loud beside Daddy over here? 
However, we must keep our end of the bargain by solving the problem of the ether burner. I'd like to think it is not a challenge beyond our combined expertise. Or at least the expertise of our extended circle of associates. I swear to God. I swear to God, chat. If this becomes a fetch quest, I'm gonna be so sad. It might behoove, behoove, it might behoove us to learn how an ether burner actually works before we attempt to improve it, though. Yes, that would be a great idea. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Already? Already we got question mark, question mark, question mark? All right, let me put on my cardigan. I'm getting a bit nippy over here. I'm excited to, to also learn how they're communicating with Hylan. Like, do they have a vessel of sorts as well for her? You know? Uh, do they have a bunch of elf piss flowers? Do they communicate through the piss? I honestly, I'm, I'm at a loss. I can't even make any predictions right now. For once, like, I think the game has, like, got me shooshed. I have two pairs of the Inquisitor leggings and I'm obsessed with them. Oh, wait, they actually have pockets? Wait, okay, maybe I need to get them because I need some new, um, I desperately need some new, uh, leggings. How cool is it in Toronto? It's like... It's minus two. So whatever that is in Fahrenheit. Oh my god, excuse me. I feel like I put this on upside down, chat. Something doesn't feel right. No, it's inside out. Hold on, chat. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> 28 Fahrenheit? Oh, that's not that bad. Yeah, minus two, like, honestly, isn't even that bad. Is that is that cold for y'all? Oh my god, the whole thing is on inside out. Fuck. Ah! Ah! Oh, I put it on inside out and backwards. Minus 16C? Wait, that's really cold. Wait, it's not minus 16C. It's minus 2 Celsius here. Which is not that cold. <sighs> I did my best with the cardigan, okay? That's like my favorite type of weather. That's sweater weather. The clipping message coming up right now. He took off his sweater. Very funny. What did it say? What did it say though? Sweater weather. Going underground? We're going underground? Whoa, wait. Oh, like, are, oh, wait. Are we going to that like underground, um, biosphere that they have? I think that's what it was, right? I'm excited. Yeah, my favorite weather is like five degrees Celsius up to 15 degrees Celsius. That is a really good, a good zone for me. Fortuno's ability to maintain a stiff upper lip is being sorely tested. Oh? As instructed, I shall take you to see the ether burner. Meet me outside the Ar the Archeon. Ar Archeon. Archeon. I trust you can make your own way there. All right, Daddy. So the Ark is being built in Labyrinthos. Hardly surprising. What else could they conceal such a massive undertaking? Well, I can tell you where they can conceal a massive undertaking. I shouldn't be talking about that with my um with my boy. That's that's not a joke for Alfino. Alfino, you're too young. Cover your ears. All right, let's see. Oh wait, can I can I cut through this one? I went for an FF14 veteran. <laughs> yeah, a message the mods. Message the moddies. 
go. What's up, Up and Smoke? 15C, when it's like t-shirt weather and sunny. Ooh, see, 15C, I wouldn't consider um, t-shirt weather, but that is also really good weather. I think t-shirt weather for me is like 20 degrees. Pepper talking about having fun with Portia, like his children are two feet away. <laughs> Look, they're used to Pepper's shenanigans, okay? Your entrance papers appear to be in order. Do you wish to send into Labyrinthos, madame? Yes, sir. so pretty oh we still have some areas here that i haven't unlocked oh and there's an ether right here that i've never got there are two aporia and charlie and hamlet well what about ophelia what? oh thank god that fucking scared me can i jump here though no all right where do i how do i where do i how do I get down? <laughs> mm, you know what? This music reminds me of the nighttime music in um in um FF16. Oh, were you gonna? Were you gonna? You're gonna take me? Can I sit with Alpha? Oh my God! Amazing, Pepper. Please hold on. Please hold on. Oh my god, look at her. Look at her, I'm on a wheel. Pepper, that cannot be comfortable. There's no way this is comfy. <laughs> You're ignoring the next game for me? I'm honored. I mean, I am better. I am better than it, I will say. Thank you. All right, so now where do I go? Where, where, where do I go now? This way? Is there a door here? Okay, well, it looks like these NPCs are going this way. So I. I got bamboozled. <laughs> Wait, no, I got this. I'll figure it out. Do I have to like run in circles? Are there steps somewhere? No, there's a wall. Wait, oh my God. Okay, you took me here, but I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go on a little date. I'm gonna go on my little date. Wait, no, I meant to, I didn't mean to ride on you. Wait, no! I meant to- I meant to leave the party! No, it's too late. No, it's too late. Carry me up. It's too late. It's too late. It's too late. Okay, fine. No, okay, fine. <laughs> oh, did I say I didn't mean to ride you? <laughs> Fuck. Do you ever just accidentally, you know, ride the wrong person? Where am I going? Where are you fucking taking me? Wait, could I have just TP'd here? Wait. Wait. Wait, hello? Oh my god, my controller is bug is bugging again. Wait. Could I have just TP'd? I could have TP'd the whole time. I had the ether. I you know, you know what? Yeah. <laughs> okay, come on. 
Come on, guys. It's not that funny. It's not that funny. I tried. I tried. I did my best, okay? I can kiss. You guys are so mean. Yeah, that's right. Perish. Perish. Get pissed on. Get pissed on. Telkni missed? Telkini? Telkini? Hello. All right, we've made it. We've made it here. That we have been granted permission to enter the lower levels is proof of our increased standing. Would that they had been willing to confide in, confide in us sooner. True. If only. All right. All right. Okay. What? Who am I supposed to talk to? Oh, Fortuno. Oh my God, I couldn't see him. All right, we've got some ads running. Can we get a command ad in the chat real quick? Our destination lies in the lower levels. The forum in its wisdom has granted you access to Archean's lift. Step inside and have Ophiline. Ophiline. Ah, similar to Ophelia, I guess. Take you to the medical and the medial circuit. Oh my god, my fucking controller. Chat, this is actually pissing me off. This is like actually enraging me. Are we good now? There we go. Lit. Hello! Hello! Oh. Oh. Hello! <laughs> oh. Back to back? <gasps> Wait. That's a daily dose of test boobies. Wait. Daily dose of test boobies. Let me see those boobas. Let me see those boobas. This is for chat. Oh. We are so blessed. We are so lucky. We are so blessed. Oh. And Catboy Booba? I mean, Catboy Booba's pretty good too. But Dragon Girl Booba? Honestly, especially Tess Booba? OP as fuck. Okay, like, what is. What is happening with my control? My control is actually bugging out. I am not looking forward to combat in this game. This is not gonna be fun. I wish I could find another cable. I know I have one somewhere, but. Holy shit, this is really bad. No, I have one somewhere. I can't go. Okay, there we go. No, my controller is being weird because my cable is broken. It does have Bluetooth, but it doesn't work properly with FF14 for some reason. But it's fine. It's okay. We'll, we'll worry about it another day. <gasps> Lift operator. Let's go, let's go. Hey, they, they, I like their outfit. Didn't you still wear something similar to this before? You used to use the lift, yes? Mm-hmm. All right, let's see where this leads us. Wait, did this take me back outside? This, I was just... I was just here. I was just here. I was literally just here. Are you kidding? Are you kidding? <laughs> I've sent you associates ahead to log logis logistici log logisticon logistic and alpha on the other side of Mariel Ergonomics. Oh my god. There we go. Actually, that is something I've been meaning to. <gasps> He's gonna ask me to be his mistress. Oh. No, never mind. It can wait. Let's attend to the matter at hand. No, 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 no. You, you and I can stroll and have a long discussion about this. Yo, chat, do you see this? Holy fuck. Okay. Let me see something real quick. Let me see something real quick. Let me try... Let me try setting up the Bluetooth again. I don't know if it's gonna work this time. But it gave me so many problems with, uh, with Steam. For some fucking reason, but I will try again because I can't handle this anymore. Is 
don't remember what to press for this. It's just like a button on the back, right? This one? No, that's the reset. It's not even being detected. That's fine, that's fine. Try your PS5 controller, it should just work. Wait a second, what cable does this use again? Oh, I don't know if I want to use the PS5 controller though for this. Ew, it feels so weird, but like, okay. Time to buy the game to the official launcher? Nope. Not doing that. Alright. Alright, this'll this'll have to do then. Okay, slay. Oh, it doesn't it does not feel good. This feels really weird, but that's okay. That's okay. All right, let's go. Okay, where are we going? <gasps> We're going into a new area! Oh my god, that means... Ah, wait. My glams. No, my glams! That's fine, that's okay. Pepper can fight in cute clothes. That's all right. <gasps> Hello, Lexi! What are we doing today? Crying. We're crying. We're beating End Walker today. It's finally happening. It's finally fucking happening. Maybe. This is gonna be a long, long, long stream today. How are you, Lexi? What's up? Oh, today's the dog Disney birthday. Oh, happy birthday, puppy! I cry every day, so I'm with this girl. We literally already cried on stream, not even because of the game. We hit a thousand subs today. Chat, fuck me good. And we're all here. We're all running together. Hello. But where are we going? Where where are we going? I don't. I feel like I'm going in circles. Oh, maybe we go, maybe we go the other way. Oh, we're gonna go this way. We're gonna go this way. Dude, that's 12 hour stream then? Yeah, maybe. I mean, like, I have a feeling the stream is gonna go on until 1 a.m. Eastern, maybe 2 a.m. Eastern, but we'll see how I feel. We'll see how I feel because if anything, um, this is gonna, this uh, Endwalker stream is gonna have to be a two-parter. <gasps> Ooh, you got a Dreadwolf shirt? Nice. Wait, you got both of those for just 30? That's a steal, if you ask me. Jack, oh no, 36 hours? I cannot. I cannot. I would actually explode. <laughs> no, I missed the crying sesh. Don't worry. If you stay long enough, I'll probably start crying again. Have no fear. Chat, what do y'all think my cry counter is going to be at by the end of today's stream? How high do you think it's going to go? Longest stream you've ever done? I think the longest I've ever done was 15 hours. Nikki, hello! Do y'all think I can finish farming the 60 memories need for the Shadowbringers relic before the next dungeon? I believe in you, L. I do believe in you. 111, 118, 107? That is specific. 169. At least 95. Wait, y'all don't, some of y'all don't think I'm gonna hit the triple digits? That's brave. <laughs> that is so brave. Do we go through here? Oh, I'm so smart. Ooh. Y'all need some better, like, moodier lighting. I'm gonna I'm just say, I'm gonna just say that real quick. Oh, this is so pretty. Ooh. I was asked to adjust the temperature in here. I'm just thinking about the humidity. What? It's too toasty. Hello, friends. Hello, friendos. I made it. Oh, <gasps> cutscene. Oh my god, it's cutscene. Oh, it's an actual cutscene. Oh, it's not. Fuck. We we are to wait here while Father arranges for us to use the next lift. 
They got the happy music going though. Here being Logisticon, uh, Logisticon Alpha, where the atmospheric conditions of Labyrinthus are regulated. Water is drawn from underground and disperses vapor, stimulating the formation of artificial clouds and rain. By manipulating the temperature and air circulation, they are able to create the ideal environment for the growth and preservation of biological samples kept here. Hold on. How do you know so much about it? My father brought me here as a child. What? And left me behind? The fucking gall. The audacity! Actually, you're the one who left me behind when you went off somewhere with grandfather. Oh! T. T. Alize was grandpa's favorite though. The night before, I'd, I'd been asking Father how clouds are made, so he decided to show me. It was fascinating. I peppered him with questions the entire time. It is all too easy to take for granted the many interweaving aspects of the natural world. To grow inured to the wondrous inured? What does that mean? <laughs> Can I carry over the cry counter for Dawn Trail next summer? Yes. This cry counter is the Final Fantasy XIV cry counter, so it stays for every expansion. Don't worry. I legit don't even know slash remember how I discovered Syra, but I feel so unworthy to gaze upon her. Oh, you're so sweet. I adore you, but I have no stamina. You hit double digits and I will honk shoe. Me, me, me. I'm sorry. That's okay, Lissy. You stay as long as you can. Chat, has she entered the ship already? What ship? Did FF16 have a cry counter? Yes, it did. Oh, fuck. I read that already, though, right? Yeah, see, FF16, we're at 12. Oh, okay, I already read that. By having but having gained an understanding of the complex mechanisms employed by the Lutperts in recreating a similar environment, I've come to view such processes in a new light. The subterranean gardens of Labyrinthos, the lunar prison forged to contain the ancient zodiac, the habitations built for all mankind neath the moon's surface, each unique yet undeniably similar. It is no mere coincidence. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Ever since Heidelin unfolded to us the grim fate that awaits Aetherus, Every essential resource we could spare has been delivered to Labyrinthos in preparation for the Great Exodus, but that is not all. It is also a testing ground for the technologies that will allow us to settle on distant stars. Though the Loperates have endeavored to make, to make the moon inhabitable, that is not our final destination. Mankind must learn to propagate life where there is none, to thrive where all is barren. Okay, Elon Musk. Alas, time is not on our side. I've arranged for, all of, for you all to enter the central circuit. It is there the most of our preparations for the great exodus are carried out. The construction of the Ark among them. Though our plans have been made public, access remains highly restricted. You, however, will not be subject to said restrictions and will have free reign to come and go as you please. Such was the will before him, after all. We will prove ourselves worthy of their trust. Your trust. And let us proceed. Oh, I'm already yawning. Oh my god. I'm excited. I'm excited. Alright, let me just leave this party real quick. Right. Speak with Hesta. His dad is so proud but won't say it. I know, he's so stubborn with the twins. It's too early for a yawn, I know. I hate that I'm yawning. I hate that I'm yawning. But it's okay, because the tears will come. I think I need food. <coughs> Hello, the tired old man. Nighty night, thank you. I think I just need some, I need some food. Should I order some Popeyes chat? Well, let me adjust my cat ears real quick. My Miko ears.
time to get her that pip eyes. The pip eyes! Honestly, I could fuck up some mashed potatoes and some chicken nuggies right now. I feel like Popeyes will always just be my go-to stream food. It just feels right, you know? There's something about eating Popeyes on stream that just feels so good. I don't know if it's like knowing that when the stream is done, I'm gonna have a really good like bowel movement after. <laughs> it is a comfort food. It absolutely is a comfort food. Which also plays like a big part in it, right? Like when I'm playing this game specifically, I want to feel comfortable. I want to, I want to play and eat food that is going to be, you know, comforting. I, there's no other way to explain it. I just need comfy foods. Southern soul food keeps you regular. Exactly. I'm not too big of a fan of their Cajun fries. I do like Cajun fries, but not Popeyes. I love when you start with the poop talk. Midori, do you like poop? That blackened chicken is one of my cures for my depresso. When the espresso runs out, the blackened chicken sandwich. We need them to sponsor you. Oh my God. Look, if we, if we can get, if, if my friends can get like Taco Bell sponsors, do you think I could get like a Chipotle or a Popeye sponsor? Should I order some now, chat? Wait, should I order Chipotle or Popeye's? I feel like, I feel like I should just get the Popeye's, right? Deaf pocket, it looks like everyone is saying Popeye's, except for Bushido Burrito. Bushido Burrito is the only one saying otherwise. Okay. Alright. Popeyes it is. Alright. Let me do a quick Popeyes order before we continue. You could have a fry counter for, for whenever someone used your Popeyes code. Oh my god. That would be so fucking funny. Everyone out here getting their fried chicken. Dude, I think I would actually pop off. With the amount of Popeyes that I consume while I'm streaming, I feel like this is like... This is a missed opportunity on their behalf. You know what I mean? Okay, do we get the... What is the Cajun cocktail? Mm, I'm just gonna get two sweet heat. We're gonna get two sweet heat. We're gonna get the mashed taters. We're gonna get. We're gonna get. We're gonna get some water. Because water is really important. So we, we need some water, okay? Water bottle. Bottle of water. Limited time offer 36 piece nuggets and two large sides. Obsidian, thank you for the five gifted. Thank you, thank you, thank you. To everyone that gifted a sub. Hey, and Walker Finale gift. Thank you, Obsidian. To everyone that got gifted a sub. Welcome to the Covenant True Badger Bots and your stay. Get a medium sprite for me real quick. Yo, I got you. Say less. Reach out to the corporate marketing team within, with 30 days worth of average views and impressions. I'm sure they'll throw your sponsorship in no time. Actually, Jake, I just fucking might. Chat, would you back me up? Like, if I do this, will you all have my back? What if we did it on like Twitter too? Can I presently? Oh, for sure. Emmy, I Okay. You scared the fuck out of me. Where did you come from, Jesus? Oh. Is it hot chocolate? <gasps> Turtle. I already have this minion. But thank you. I appreciate it. I do not have this one. I will take wine to Pistinian. Thank you, Jesus Targaryen. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. All right. Let me order my Popeyes. All right. The Popeyes has been ordered. Oh. Santa's already gone. Santa literally came gave me a gift and left 
Yo, tis the season, I guess. Well, at least I gotta wind up Estinian now. All right, let's speak with Hester, yeah? By decree of the forum, the signs of Seventh Dawn are permitted to enter the Central Circus. <sighs> let's see. Whoa! The barrier looks so interesting. Oh, it's so funny seeing everyone just stanced up here. What's up, wifey? The sooner we can get to get a look at the ether burner of theirs, the sooner we can start working out how to improve it. All right. The ether burner is being constructed not far from here. Overseeing the work is Cockle Donkle. Cockle? They made a cockle out of him? We're so close to hitting another sub goal tonight, chat. I, if we do it, if we hit 1,200 subs, I think I actually might collapse. Definitely did impulse purchase Popeyes because of y'all. See, look, this is exactly why I need the fucking sponsorship. Oh my god, this music. This goofy ass music. After whom the forge is named. Once the necessary introductions have been made, I shall leave you with him to discuss the particulars. This way. Meow, meow, mama. What is that mount? What the fuck is this mount? Wait. Wait, this mount is so cute. I want it. Chat, look, it's got a little, it's got a little dewdrop. It's got a bow. It's Pepper. This is just Pepper when she's crying, honestly. All right, so now we gotta find Cockle Donkle. Cockle Donkle, all right, let's go this way. It's the Butterfinger event? What Butterfinger event? Butterfinger promotion? <gasps> oh my God, that reminds me. I have to go buy the pizza emote. I don't know what y'all are talking about. If you bought like 30 bucks in Butterfingers, you got the amount, you got the mount. Oh, is it this, is this an American thing? Oh, it's $5. Oh, that's so easy. Oi, can you, can you golems get away from me? Peppa is on a mission. Can't you see? You know what, at least the other one's completely unfazed. Thank you, Tess. I am sleepy, but I'll be okay, Chad. Don't worry. You bought way too many Butterfingers, apparently. That's just a gin difference. Gin diff. Butterfinger is strangely involved in games. Is Butterfingers like, do they have like a gaming aspect to their brand? Have they done a collab with Overwatch yet, Grandma? Oh, they sponsored Overwatch Esports stuff too? Damn. <gasps> Broth daddy. Tasty. <gasps> They're a lollafell. But are they hot though? I could swap them out. They no, definitely been are. There, done that. Damn near lost me eyebrows. Damn near lost me eyebrows. Think, yeah. Coco, think! We'd be Coco. well on our way to paradise. Coco. Visionaries patting themselves on the backs for their grand accomplishments if you'd only think. <laughs> yes, that does sound rather lovely. Yeah! <laughs> I mean, Master Fulch, you know, what a pleasant surprise. <laughs> <gasps> We're not blasting off already, are we? No, not yet. The schedule remains unchanged, for better or worse. Which is why the Forum has elected to accept assistance in resolving the ether burner conundrum. Huh. Not seen you lot down here before. We're new here. There are Archons among their number, but engineering is not their expertise. Nevertheless, the Forum concedes the slim possibility that they may have insights to offer. If not, you are at liberty to return them to the surface by whatever means you see fit. I wonder if they're gonna put us in the dungeon where like we have to look for supplies. I assure you that won't be necessary. Now, 
about your troubles with the ether burner. Aye, aye, I'll walk you through it. Suppose I could do with a change of pace. As the name ought to tell you, the ether burner burns ether. What, and really? No and shot, transforms eh? it into motive <laughs> force. Think of it like a giant bomb that never stops exploding. Even out in that black void where the ether's right sparse, it's strong enough to move our arc. <laughs> and it probably won't kill you like an actual bomb. <sighs> but it ain't perfect. Now, how do we make it perfect? According to my calculations, to travel to the moon and back fast enough for the forum's liking, the conversion rate needs to be 6% more efficient. A measly 6%, you say? But if I could have squeezed even another 0.6 out of it, don't you think I'd have built it that way in the first place? Hey, we didn't say anything. Hast thou consulted with the Lopperits? Yes, they too are conducting their own research, for lack of a ready answer. Mm. The moon's propulsion systems are considerable, naturally, yet they are commensurately massive. It is no easy feat to convert their technology into an efficient means of propulsion for a teeny tiny toy boat, as they say, and as I most certainly do not. <laughs> Teeny, yes, tiny, exactly. Tiny Damn it all. Oh, I asked for a find adamantite and they send me uppity rabbits with inscrutable, ancient, incompatible technology. You're trying to drive me mad. Do you speak of Allegan refined adamantite, perchance? <gasps> you know of it. Of course he knows of it. Only in the most general terms, oh. I'm afraid. I was giving him too much praise an there. alloy of Allegan make. But the secrets of its production were closely guarded. As I recall, the record stated it was vital to Dalamud's construction and launch. Oi, that's the stuff. No material more conductive far as I know. Slotting some ends like blowing up a dam and watching the river of ether come rushing through. I ain't a living soul that knows how to make it though. We were fortunate enough to salvage some for the ether burner, just a wee bit, mind, from a chunk of Dalamud that came hurtling into the northern empty during the calamity. From a chunk of Dalamud? Well, that extra 6% efficiency will be child's play. It's a crying shame that we've no other sources. Yep. We're about to go. Surely into the a many shards of Dalamud some. scattered throughout Eorzea would suffice. Why not get the refined adamantite from them? We're gonna go Dalmud fucking. Oh, <laughs> we piece tried, hunting. believe you me. But only a few specialized pieces would have had any in them to begin with. Drive calls from Ragnarok class internment hulks. Those are the prize bits we really need. According to the gleaners, getting to them means delving deep into the shards. And the defenses are still very operational and very eager to blow them up. It's rough going in there, even for the cream. Not sure they'd make it out alive. Hey, I've heard that one before. Weren't we near that part of the Ragnarok when we went to destroy Bahamut? You want me to go and fetch the Watsits? The White Raven's ghost. Me. This sounds like a job for someone else. Let me go with the top one. Oh, that Pepper's may be actually for offering. The best, though you doubtless find the task too dull for your liking. You're right. You're absolutely right, Alize. Thank you for having my back. Hmm. There are multiple internment hulks in Eorzea alone, so handling this ourselves may not be the most efficient option. Rather, send a team. if we could salvage adamantite from the shards simultaneously. Okay. Thancred, is the link shell we established before you went to Garlemald still active? Of course. The floor is yours. Why did he have to look at us like that? Why did he have to look at us like that? Oh. Good catch me, boy. What's all this? Gathering firewood, so to speak. 
We alone can accomplish little, but joined by others, we may yet build a bonfire to carry us heaven's wood. This is Alphano. The Scions have need of you. Understood. I will contact the Lord Commander and dispatch our finest at once. I don't know why that got me. <laughs> My sisters are somewhat preoccupied with the final days. So I will lead the Twelveswood expedition myself. Are you aware of any other sources of refined adamantite? Logically, such an invaluable alloy would have been utilized solely where absolutely necessary, in components intended to conduct or collect surpassing amounts of ether. Any extant instrumentation or devices would have likely found their way into the hands of etherologists or enthusiasts. Magical artifacts of Allegan design? Oh my the God, Eastern so Alliance nice. will send word to one and all. Are there other ways we may offer aid? It's so No cute shards of the Lesser Moon scar like, our soil, but our state the other in this nations, cause is like, no less great. Whenever they get to have them come together. Is there together? anything in Othered that might be of use to you? I think and you're having safe. Oh, you Alfino got friends in far places, lad. Be the one to like direct it. Any road, if you're offering, I wouldn't say no to one of those far eastern sacred relics. I'm doing it in front of Papa. Some of them can hold enough ether to summon a whole damn primal. You know? Find a source like that with the ether burner. And three, two, one, kaboom! Hey, at least you're not making me do it. No fetch bus for me. I you heard his explosive enthusiasm. Might you secure us a suitable relic? It shall be done. I know little of machines, but I promise we will do they've our utmost Heaven's to gather the like materials you need to finish your starship. And each time they've said it, a I am glad for the work, in truth. Better to busy oneself than wait and fret over disasters foretold. Then why are we all still standing about yapping? This plunder for the taking, and I'm a born plunderer. I'll be an old Charlie, and before you know it. Start mixing the grog. I love him. I'm certain that can be arranged. Our sweet pirate Thank you boy. All. And do be careful. Uh. Just like that. Aye, just like that. Our refined adamantite is on its way. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Now let us That's consider our, our next steps, That's we? our Alpino. There's yet much to be done. Oh my god, he's so cute. Not the little dance. Not the little dance cheer. Oh. I don't think I'm going to be able to survive a sequence where their dad, like, tells them how proud he is of them. I don't think my heart would be able to like take that cheesy hello pepper's like thank god i don't have to get it all i know pepper's like thank god no fetch quest for me but she'd do it she would do it in a heartbeat if she had to but she fucking won't let's see i know i missed an alert bushido burrito thank you for the prime sub and miller thank you for the 14 month sub i appreciate it one sec chat my poop eyes is here let me grab my poopy doopy and we will speak with Prowl in just a moment. Sometimes you fetch quests, and sometimes the quests fetch you. That was deep. That was very deep.
fan art ideas oh tell us what are you plotting what are you plotting l l i want to commission you so bad for some art of my of my people binky and Porsche Porsche. mini spoilers but later i got my i got my taito i've got my agua i got some forks i've got me dick Right. Okay, chat. We're ready. All right, we're ready for the long haul. I got my goods. I got my food. Now we can play this goddamn game and camp out. This is gonna be a long one. This is gonna be one heckin' long stream chat. Mm. He can't come in because Orshfont is blocking the path. Come. Oh. There you go. He said sniffer. He says that chicken. Mm. Nixie, hello. Well, doesn't know what he's missing every time you order Popeyes. Oh no, he knows what he's missing. He's had Popeyes. How are the end walkies? The end walkies are going. End walker has been beating my ass, but so far today only chat has beaten my ass. Thank you for the thousand biddies. Is it pronounced Telkini? Thank you. I would like to pay my puppy pet tax. My puppy pet tax. Yes, pay the puppy tax. He is the sweetest boy. Waldo is the sweetest, obediest, poopiest, poopiest boys. But, unfortunately, we have to carry on with the show. What if I just like played like this? We got a little bit of Waldo in the back. <laughs> Alright, where's Kyle? Oh, there she is. Oh my god, I couldn't see her. <gasps> Thank you for the thousand bits, dead mango. Oh, Waldo's well, gone. Pay for the thousand biddies. Yes, pay the puppo tax. Pay the puppo tax. Mm. Hope everyone is well. We're okay. We're as good as we can be, Nixie. What are you up to tonight? When you think he type his bags of poop and throw them at friends? Hell yeah. Look, I'm a goblin. Through and through, okay? Whew. Okay. I've, been, I've eaten like two chicken nuggets. I think it's time. Now we press on. It's times like these we're reminded of how famous or infamous Alfino has become. Who'd have thought he could achieve so much with a single link pearl conversation? As we're expecting rather a lot of visitors in the near future, I'd best return to the surface and inform the relevant parties. I also have a contact of my own that might be worth a try. <gasps> Who's her contact? Ooh, oh, wait, what? Oh, then who might that be? <laughs> That's for me to know and you to find out. Okay, now I'm excited. Now I'm excited. Is this gonna be is this gonna be a dramatic throwback? Am I gonna cry? Or is it gonna be really goofy? Mm. Mm. <laughs> you just got your dinner and you're ready to cry? Hell yeah, Nixie. Wanna bus. Wanna bus. And on that note, I leave matters here in your capable hands. Best of luck. Slay. Oh. 
cutscene? What are your guesses? I don't have any. I really do. Oh my god, Pippin! My boy! Our course of action is clear. We must harvest refined adamantite from the shards of Dalamud and procure arcane relics of Allegan Make. Summon the best and brightest of our immortal flames and form an expeditionary party at once. Call upon the Sultan Sworn and Brass Blades for support as you must. Papashan, send word to the guilds. We will require the expertise of master artisans if we are to have any hope of identifying and recovering these elusive materials. Fear, guys, we have need of your stone torches. They are to assist the immortal flames in scouring the ruins and to help secure the surrounding areas. I trust I can count on your support. As commander of the stone torches, my son Zimberk will personally see it done. Is that your son beside you? He's so hot. Oh my god. Pippin, I would have you lead the raiding party. The raiding Assemble party. Assemble your finest, and with Tizona's blade, clear the way. Lord Lollarito, I pray you take charge of the search for Allegan relics. Fucking Surely Lollarito. you know of some being traded on open or clandestine markets. Or sleeping in collector's vaults. <laughs> of course, I ask you that you do this out of the kindness of your heart. By all means, profit on the transactions. I wish you the joy of it. Slay. <laughs> the final days descend upon our world. If circumstances are truly as dire as they say, Uldar's best efforts may be for naught. And yet, when we Eorzeans rose from the ashes to rebuild our broken realm, did we not learn one simple truth? I think Nanamo is one of my favorite leaders in this game. That which seems I all but impossible her. to overcome alone may yet be possible if we stand together. It was the Scions who united us then, and it is the Scions who call upon us now. Fuck! <laughs> Uldar will answer that call. We will summon Fuck! our courage and join the fight for our world's future. Damn right! <laughs> you know your duties. I, Nanamo Ulnamo, 17th in the line of all, bid you good luck and good speed. She said slay! She said slay! <laughs> Fuck, I just choked on a chicken. Fuck. Why did her saying that, like, we stand together? Like, why did that get me? Why did that get me, bro? That can't be the end of the cutscenes. There's no way. Oh, meanwhile, oh my god, are they gonna do this for each realm? Am I gonna have to see an emotional, like, hear ye, hear ye? from the fucking leaders bro this is not gonna go well i'm telling you right now this is not gonna go well man these racist ass people though This one seems more we dramatic. fielded a goodly number, but our ranks are heavy with healers, and an abundance of restorative magics will be of little help in destroying Dalamud's defenses. Still, it has ever been thus with Gridania. We must steel ourselves for a protracted engagement. Steal your heart, bestie. Oh my, is that Lise? In that and case, no! might I suggest taking us along? I'm more excited because Nago is behind her. Yes! Miko Queen! Amanda Hext. Miko Queen! What are you doing here? None of the shards in Girabania are big enough to hold an internment hulk. So we said to ourselves, why not lend our neighbors a hand? 
We thought you might be short on people with a talent for breaking things. While it pains me to admit it, you are right. Our artificiency is so plain to see. It might have been a lifetime ago, but I was once one of the Scions assigned to the Shroud. I almost always forget that I she was a Scion. Well. I know your people, and I know we will be stronger if we fight this fight together. Uh, the character growth for Lise has been, like, incredible. Then I will impose upon you with a clear conscience. So good. Come. Let us speak of how to integrate our forces. I want to let it all be <laughs> Dirty writers, you dirty writers, <laughs> you dirty and curse this. <laughs> please don't, please don't tug, please don't, please don't hurt me. <laughs> there, there you are. <sighs> We've no time to waste, brother. Everyone has already. <sighs> And so, in summation, the Eastern Alliance, as well as the Honorable Lord Lollarito himself, reached out to me for assistance in procuring these treasures of the Divine, and I, in turn, do beseech the Confederacy for aid. I don't know how I'm supposed to focus. I can hardly mm -hmm. see. Is that... Hancock? What a surprise Cock? this is. Cocker? And a fortuitous one at that. I wanna I, I wanna go back to the to dragons ask, though. I wanna know I wanna know what that was about. I got priorities here, guys. Man. <laughs> you know what? You know what? They're smart. You know what? They're smart. They're smart. They put Curthus and then Cock. If they ended that with Curthus, that would have been cruel. That would have been so cruel. That's not what I expected at all. 
my god! Oh my god, do you see this? Look at that sheen! Wait, are we at 91 or 92? That's <laughs> the Endwalker experience. <laughs> I don't like this game. I don't like this game anymore. I'm uninstalling. 92? Holy shit. Chat, we're actually gonna hit triple digits. We're actually gonna hit triple digits. You just need to see that snowy slope and you're already thinking game do not do this. I didn't even see the slope. I saw Curthus and the second I saw blue, I was done. I was done. It was game over. <laughs> I just think about like my ending screen like cruel this game is cruel this game is mean this game is so mean where where are you where are you no you are not allowed! Hold on. <laughs> Where are you? Where is he? Where is he? Oh, there's a Nissan. Where is he? I won't even see him. That's even worse! I don't even know where he is! He's just speaking to me from beyond! Our, our Survivor role player is just speaking to me from beyond! He's not even here! <laughs> I can't, I can't with this. He's on that hill? What do you mean we just saw him? Where my brothers were, of course. They just visited. Oh. Making sure he's in front of you again to take the hits? No! No, don't say that! Now I feel bad! Now I don't want him here! Why would you say that? Human power shield! No! No! Can you still hear me from beyond the grave? Oh, 
Ponto, thank you for the one year resub. Yo, can you hear me from beyond the grave, bro? How do my boobs feel? No job too small is the name of the quest, by the way. True. <laughs> Very true. I hope my bosom is nice and comfy for you, Orshifan. I will keep you not. <laughs> he said amazing. <laughs> he said amazing. And the boobs are shields. Yes, they are. My boobs deflect. Don't worry. I'll protect you from from spears. From light spears, okay? Thanks to my chest, you will never have another hole in yours. I just made a mess on my table. Hold on, chat. We're finally so close, and yet I can hardly feel you. Wow. I know. It's okay. It's okay, Orshvan. <laughs> Definitely smiling looks best on you. No. We're not going down this route, Orshvan. We are not. You know, it does kind of kill me. I will say, um, you know, like, you know, people say like, oh, chin up sport, like, oh, like just smile and wave boys. Like, I don't think anything has like stuck with me more than like a smile better suits a hero. Cause it's such a pretty line. And whenever I'm sad, like in real life and I smile or I try to force myself to be happy, I think of that sequence i think of i literally think of orshifon dying and it makes me feel better like that's probably you know not okay <laughs> but like i i just i just think of that like to smile on you know like to just like to push forward to keep smiling that kind of thing That kills me. You kill me. You dying? Honestly, has been the worst thing that has ever happened to me. Nothing could have prepared me for that. I've been able to predict everything in this game, but that caught me off guard. And I've never recovered. So, here we go. We have to press on to the end. We must walk. Helping us just in the urge to pat himself on the back. No, he should. And if he won't, I will. Though our friends are searching for refined adam adam adamantite and, sca and sacred relics, we will only know if they meet your requirements once they have arrived. In the meantime, is there all else we might have we might do to be of service? <laughs> You've already done more than enough. Wait. Hold on, wait. As I said before, you deserve better for me than one broken shield and a world full of troubles. Oh. Orshafa? Why would you say that? A world full of troubles? And a broken shield? It was that broken shield. That saved me. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it, brother. Also, Emric? Chat? Where the hell did Emric come from? If you need a hug, I'll always be here for you, Pepper. Yo, is the other Elizin trying to slip into the pussy right now? Bro. Never saw a game. <laughs> Dreams worth fighting for don't die so easily. 
in the end, I might not have you at my side, but I'll always have you in my heart. Yo, I feel like did Pepper just get broken up with with the ghost of Orshavant? Did Orshavant's ghost just dump me? Did Pepper just get dumped? By a ghost? <laughs> mm. Ha! You've already m done more than enough. If I had to say though, I could use someone who knows a thing or two about Allegan technology. You there, the lad with the red eyes and matching hair. You seem to know more than the average scholar. Yes, my wife is very intellectual. She knows a lot. Ha! Fully master cockle cockle. <laughs> Knew how right he was. Well, he and Graha established a, rap a report. Why don't we help with preparations for the great exodus? Please. Emmerich just said, I've heard there is a void that needs filling. Chat? Look, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Pepper's only response to that is, do what you will with that information. I'm gonna slip the, um, the food to the side, um, because I'm gonna get stuffed. Not in the pussy way. But, like, I need to just, like, put the food away. At least a little bit. So we can continue the game. Because I just spent a good moment crying. And I need to not. I know, pepper's a little bit spicy. Too scandalous indeed. Indeed, this would mean going above and beyond the terms of our arrangement. But I propose this not to curry favor. As confident as I am that we will succeed, we must be ready for every eventuality. This would also be an opportunity to familiarize ourselves with the logistics of traversing the great expanse. And if nothing else, it beats twiddling our thumbs while we wait for the adamantite. Mm. Well, ain't you a bunch of helpful buggers? If you mind to lend a hand, I know where you ought to go. Charlie and Hamlet is lousy with researchers and scholarly types, busy themselves preparing for the exodus. Ha! That lot need all the help they can get. Well then, off we go. Where is Emmerich? I don't see him. Hmm. All right, speak with Alize. Hold on, let me speak with my wife first. What was this? in the cutscene too. Godspeed, my friend. I shall endeavor to provide Master Cockle with whatever information he should require. That's my wife. That's my handy dandy wife. All right, so where do we go? Oh, we go up here. Okay, sick. Oh, and we get the new etherite. Nice. Oh, I love this music, this triumphant ass music. Crying does take a lot out of me. Honestly, like I will, I will admit. Sometimes when I cry, it like it does make me really tired, and it encourages me to like hop off. Like that's what I mean by playing. When I said that, like, if this game makes me cry too much, I may have to take a break and I may hop off. Right now we're good though. Like don't worry. Okay, the music isn't changing, and that's making me anxious. That means shit's about to get fucking real. I feel like we have a dungeon coming up. I exhaust myself with my emotions. Crying, laughing, even just having a good time literally makes you want to sleep. I'm also just a sleepy girl. Go in here? No. Nope. Go around here? Yeah, I guess we go around here. Or, <gasps> an ether current. I don't know if I'm in the right area. 
like it seems like I am, but... Oh, there they are. I don't know how I missed the crowd over here. I don't have my glasses on, guys, all right? From what I can tell, a lot of the people actually live down there. I don't know how much help you can offer, but I dare say they'll benefit from some of that fresh inspiration Skarlark Montesheim mentioned. Let's start by asking around, ideally without getting any... Bleh. Ideally without getting in anyone's way. Oh. Let's meet by the eighth right once our work is done. Sounds good. Alright, now is it like a mini fetch quest? Oh my god, the music is still going. Chat, this is so hype. I'm so nervous. Oh, are we all attuning? Are we all attuning? We attune? Hello. Let's see. Oh, Silken Grin. That's a fucking name. Yo! We passed 500 of tunes. Let's go. Yo, Golden Chizik, what's up? Oh, um, hello. Hello. Are you one of the new helpers? On the ether burner. Oh dear, I hear things have come to a standstill on that front. Even so, I choose that over my current duties. Checking and li I just caught a fruit fly. Did y'all see that? Did y'all see me catch that? Yo! I am built different! I am built different! Even so, I'd choose that over my current duties. Checking and loading samples day in and day out. It's tiring, thankless work. Still, no one be cross if I misplace a few legumes or what have you. Brom's got enough on the plate as it is. What we're deciding who gets to board the Ark and when. But powerful people have opinions about that. Pack was out to Master Potion and the others. Really had a moment's rest, I expect. Did they even have time to sleep? I really hope it's not all for naught. I don't know how this is gonna work. Like, are we actually gonna be able to send people to the moon? It feels like a pipe dream. I feel like it's not gonna work. Like, something about it just doesn't feel right. Alright, hold this on. Well, for me to help. That's very kind. But I should be able to organize the rest of the documents by myself. It's mostly a list of things. But the things we'll need once we arrive on the moon. And then whichever star we choose as a new home. My duties largely concern the maintenance of living conditions, so I'll be a lot busier after we depart. I heard our lunar collaborators have come down to assist in our efforts. I'm looking forward to finally meeting them in person, after having communicated with them in such a limited capacity thus far. To be perfectly honest, I'm not even the slightest idea what they look like. I do hope they're not enormous giants. Why? I would prefer something small and fluffy, like the hatted rabbit that ran by. Oh, little do you know, they are literally little bun buns. You are in for a fucking treat. Also, we haven't seen them in a hot second. I want to see them interact with Portia now. I want to know how that's going to go down. Portia oh, gave you his reaction time. Oh, that one, that's mean. Oh. Helping with the arc. Even with all the power, Master Cockles managed to squeeze out of the ether burner. It's still not enough, apparently. And now we are the final days have arrived. Horrible creatures running around and all over. <sighs> Only we'd begun the exodus sooner. People are dying, and there'll be no end to it if we don't fulfill our duties. But we will. We spent years preparing for this moment. Leaving the plan, and all will be well. Alright, search for the beheaded rabbit. Okay. Buy the etherite. Let's go. <laughs> oh, let me attune too. Is that why y'all were waiting there? So I can remember to attune? <laughs> It's a 
in a little pool. Ah! I'm wet. You've wetted me. I'm wet now. This is what you wanted. You wanted to get the pussy all wet. I hear you laughing. <laughs> all right, living way, what's up? Fancy meeting you here, Peppa. Our friends in the forum brought us to see their teeny tiny toy boat, which was quite impressive considering they didn't use any creation magic. What we're really interested in is the Ethereus itself, though we now find ourselves in a sort of funny underground mid-rise version of it. <laughs> We've got cooking way right here. We were hoping the forum would give us a guided tour, but it appears they'd rather they're rather preoccupied. Honestly, all that time to prepare and they're still not ready. I suppose we'll just have to show ourselves around. Or at least, that's what we were planning to do until we chanced upon Riyazi and your good self. Since you're both dawdling about, engaging in idle chit-chat, perhaps you could show us a few points of interest. Won't that be fun? No! 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 I don't want to be a tour guide! <laughs> I don't want to be a tour guide! Wise guys, try to see my Uriaje cannot free himself himself to not for it. Tour of Labyrinthos. Mm. An unexpected yet prudent suggestion. Given the similarities betwixt this artificial environment and best ways burrow, it would be in our best interest to have the Lopperts acquaint themselves with, the, with those conditions deemed optimal by the Charlotte and collaborators. No. No. <laughs> I fear, however, that continued reliance upon my limited knowledge would risk narrowing. Rather than broadening their perspectives, may I have power better suited to lead this venture? No! What a marvelous idea! Might we begin with that great big what's it over you over yonder? No. Ah yes, the what's it. I shall leave its explanation to Pepper. Fuck you, Riage. I cannot believe this. I cannot believe. I cannot believe you're making me do a tour for these fucking bunnies. Hey, at least the music is still hype. Wow, wow. All right, what's the what's that they were looking at? This, that what's it? Just look at this way. What's going on? Goodness me, to build something so large without creation magic is positively stupendous. Perhaps you could direct our attention to its most important features? Okay. Oh, the fucking emote. Search the apparatus for points of potential interest. Um, yeah, the world is ending, so this is exactly what we need to do. Observe the mushroom-like thing, observe the tanks, observe the metallic tube. Um, yeah. We're observing the tanks. Nice. Hmm. It's a little hard to see from here, but is that a golden pipe connected to the top of those tanks? All I can see through that window, and I can see through that window another pipe at the bottom. Ah, this must be for purifying water drawn up from below. Very good. I definitely knew that as well. Okay, the mushroom-like thing and the metallic tube. All right, what's the mushroom-like thing? this oh my god how did how did the embostoma get here you spot an embostoma and it's a lot of they wanted that it appeared that the concept you observed another time another place was approved for life in the wider world somehow That could have been his legacy. 
It's that wards I hear from inside that great big tube. It must be because of those corks of the gigantic wheel and the gigantic wheel. The top. Oh, I see. That's how they draw up the water. There's probably some sort of spiral shaped mechanism inside it, too. Alright, what's the mushroom like thing? Is it this? Yeah. It's not a tree, I'm gonna tell you that. <laughs> it looks like the trees in Greater Sense Vale! Hold on. That's a bit of a strange shape. It's not the bottom, but big around the top. Quite tall for something so unbalanced, too. Now it makes sense. That's where they store the water. Nice. We're learning things. Learning how they store water and transport it. Well, if I were to hazard a guess, Water drawn from underground, presumably with some other mechanism, is purified here and stored in that tower before being distributed elsewhere. I'm right, aren't I? I knew it! A design brilliant in its simplicity. I dare say it would take only a moment to install even the harshest of environments. For us loperates, that is. Indeed, securing a reliable source of water is of the utmost importance for any fledgling settlement. We have read, however, that peoples of theorists sometimes make their homes in arid deserts and such. How are they able to survive? Uh, many settlements in Thanalan are built near an oasis. Areas near waterfalls are common sites for villages in Girabanya. Mm, let's give them some Girabanya knowledge. So wherever you choose to live, you're never far from water. Oh dear, I worry we won't be able to procure the necessary amount. We can provide enough water to keep them from drying out completely, but it would appear they rely on it far more than we'd anticipated. Hmm. Few adjustments may be in order once you've calculated the average rate of consumption per individual. It may also be worth learning more about how exactly they obtain the water in the first place. Master Alfino spoke of the machinery responsible for that feat during that journey through logistic and le logistic logi large tech. <coughs> oh my god. Uh, ooh, ah. Lo logistic and alpha, did he not? Mayhap the Lopritz will share his appreciation for the engineering marvel. Oh, ye <coughs> oh yes, that sounds absolutely splendid. You must journey beyond the sanctuary of Charlie and Hamlet. I shall lead the way. You mean you have to brave the untamed wilderness? A valid concern indeed. We could not help but notice the many dangerous looking creatures with big nasty teeth lurking beyond the safe confines of this settlement. Were we not escorted here by burly custodians, I tried to think what would have become of us. Regrettably, to many a hungry predator with the aforementioned big, nasty teeth, Lopritz may appear to be a potential and rather appetizing source of sustenance. <gasps> Gasp! Might I impose upon thee to assist? Oh, me? Bro. Might I impose upon thee to assist in securing safe passage in Logistic and Alpha? For my part, I shall act as an as escort to Living Way and Cooking Way. I entrust Singing Way and Growing Way to thy care. Great. <laughs> I love that I'm literally a tour guide now. A more valiant protector they could not wish for. Godspeed. It's all the same to you. I'd rather not be eaten by some horrid beastie. Come along, growing way. To the water extraction, what's it? <laughs> You're doing great with the voices. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. I appreciate it. Thank you. I really do want to enter um, the voice acting field at some point. I made a reel a very long time ago, but I got insecure and deleted it. But... I really want to try again. I think when I settle into my new place and I can actually um, build a good little um, studio, 
in my home. We'll try again. Because I'd like, I'd like to think that I'm actually quite good. I like to think that I'm actually quite good and I can maintain a voice pretty well. And not just mimic it, you see. I can do the voice and, and whatever line I need to do. I don't just repeat things. It's improv. <laughs> it's simply just improv. Hello, Fenris. on Twitter. Dentist, what are you doing? What Papa, is this streamer is gonna come for herself with your chicken on stream? <laughs> Y'all are ridiculous. Bro, I actually hate Twitter. I actually hate Twitter. Like, I tweeted that I hit a thousand subs, right? And someone was like, that cable management though, lol, congrats. That's what you're focusing on? Bro, my setup is so janky and I'm doing better than so many of you. So you know what? I don't need good cable management. <laughs> you just need to be funny and entertaining. <laughs> Ugh. Sorry, we gotta play D&D together at some point. Your silly guy voice game has to be on point. Oh, it absolutely is. Check the meetup Discord real quick, sure. My silly guy voice is pretty good. I'm good at voicing silly little dudes. I'm spanking Orshavon now. Yes. My man who tweeted it looks like <laughs> Your toad voice is on our own. one of the best toad voices around. Tan has hello. I'm actually sad. So someone on Twitter was like, yo, if this is really random, but I need someone who can do a toad voice. And I forgot to record myself doing my toad voice for them. There was an opportunity that landed on my front step and I didn't take it. You know how upset I am about that? Yeah! Cause I think I do a pretty good tone voice! <laughs> cable management is the most pretentious and overrated set of critique, I'll be honest. I know anyone who talks about cable management, it's like, guys, that shit is not important. I mean, I guess, yeah, like aesthetically it looks good, but it is not important. The cable management is not gonna make you successful. Do it again, speak to us, Toad. Fine, I mean, if that's what you want, I guess I can keep speaking like this for a little bit longer. You know, I was really disappointed when I saw the Mario movie and Toad didn't sound like this at all. I don't even remember the, the voice actor, or not even the voice actor, I don't even remember the actor who voiced Toad. Look, it's an Orshavon voice, excuse me. Toad way, I'm toading way. Hello, it's me, toading way. All right, so the music, I sound like Bill Pickles. Oh, it was Keenan Michael Key. Slay, he's fucking hilarious. But a shame. Oh, Keegan, yeah. But a shame that, that, um, that he didn't do an actual Toad voice. Yeah, I watched, um, like, so many months ago, Isaac and I were curled up on the couch and I uh, got the Mario movie for us so we could watch it. And I'm not even kidding, like, we were like maybe halfway through and it felt like three hours long. He wasn't paying attention anymore. I was falling asleep. I eventually turned to him and I was like, can I fucking put something else on? He started laughing. He was like, yes, <laughs> please. I did not like the Mario movie and the Peaches song. It was like what 10 seconds long. It wasn't even that like it was hyped up and for what but in fairness In fairness, I feel like if I was high as tits, I would have liked the movie um, But that also being said it was definitely for children like 100% for children There were no like adult jokes or anything. You know what I mean? Isaac turned to you laughed and said let's go 
I'm ending my stream. I am ending my stream right now. I wish you never said that to me. I sense a hostile presence. Burning anal. Hey, if you don't use lube, that can happen. Anala, anala, burning anala, burning anala. It's called anala. It's called anala, burning anala. They knew what they were doing with that. They set me up. They set me up for that one, okay? Thank you so much. I really hope this water extraction lots it is worth these harrowing experiences. All part of the fun, some might say, but I'd rather not burnt to a crisp if it's all the same to you. <laughs> all right, where are we going? This way now? I thought it was just a Canadian burning anal, eh? <laughs> Hey, look, if it's burning, you're not doing something right. Can we send that one to the Popeyes folk? Hey, look, listen. Popeyes, sometimes that sweet heat be making my sweet hole heat it up. So, I mean, it goes hand in hand, right? It's funny, you've been on a journey around my house. You've been on my phone, computer, and iPad. Only device left is TV. Pop me up. Pop me up. Put me on the TV. Make me big. Full screen me. My friends, I bid you welcome to Logistic on Alpha. Our destination doth lie at the lift's top. Pray follow me. Alrighty. Let's see if I get lost this time. Okay, the music is still so dramatic, and for what? Like, can you please, like, give me something? I've already cried. I think it's time we pick up the pace. Marvelous, simply marvelous. So this is where the magic, or science rather, takes place. The perfect environment to sustain life, artificially created. The knowledge we'll gain here will be essential when we start looking for new stars for your kind to inhabit. Apparently, most of them don't even have air for you to breathe. You're all very lucky that a theorist just so happens to provide everything you need to thrive. Or did mankind turn out the way that they are because of the available resources, I wonder? Either way, it's nothing short of miraculous. And I cannot wait to see more of it. Nice. Agriculture shock? Oh my god, are we gonna be talking about food now? Are we gonna be talking about food? Bro, your voice is chef's kiss. Thank you, Peach. Thank you. She's on my TV right now because I'm doing dishes or trying to. This music is making me so tense. Yo, this music should be hyping you up to finish your dishes, okay? If this music doesn't get you like invigorated, nothing will. Cooking way is eager for a change of menu, or at the very least, a change of what's it. This is all very wonderful, I'm sure, but I was hoping to learn more about nourishment provision facilities. In other words, where's the food? I believe both the knowledge and consumables you seek may be found at Mariel Ergonomics. As I imagine, Sing Wei and the others intend to study every conceivable facet of this apparatus, let's not be so kind as to escort our visiting culinarian. No! Yes, that sounds much more interesting. Hopefully I'll be able to see firsthand some of the delicacies Orianger was telling me about. Even as incredibly vivid, if a bit too verbose, descriptions cannot compare to sampling them myself. Not to mention that the ears will be so will be soon no will soon be no more, so I must learn all I can while there's still time. You think they're gonna get some pudding? Ashley, hello, thank you for the raid! Hello, hello, hello! Welcome to the stream, Ashley. I hope you had a good I'm Sarah. I'm a Final Fantasy XIV streamer. And I want to pee pee poo poo because I cannot believe that I am doing, well, not fetch quest, but I'm a tour guide right now for the fucking look for it. And you know what? I 
just wanted to end. I like to walk to the end now. Let us brook no further delay. All right. You think we're gonna find some pudding? You think we're gonna meet Pudding Way? Oh my God, stupid we cooking way and have him accompany you. Oh my God, where am I going? Where am I going? Where the fucking rabbit go? Oh my God, please open. Thank you. Yo, Algyle, what's up? This music is the single worst thing in Endwalker. Really? I like it. I just hate that it's still going because like nothing is happening. I feel like this music does not suit this um this quest that I'm on. I had this music on while changing the battery in my watch. It turned into a spaceship. Turn your character in FF14 today. Nice. You know the underpopulated servers? Oh, not as nice. <laughs> How's it going? I'm assuming you finished the game already. Do you know the game for 16 month resub? I feel you. This game does not need new content. It needs a skip quest button. No, actually, I agree. <coughs> this is the place, yes? The heady, the heady, heady, heady aroma was enough to guide me here, and I've spotted several of the fruits and vegetables featured in our compendium. I'd dearly love to try some, but I read that those who help themselves to a farmer's crops without permission are often caught and put into pies. Perhaps you could ask whoever's in charge if they would be willing to part with a few samples. <laughs> Cooking way is now accompanying me. I expect a drama chat. I expected drama. And now I am feeding a rabbit. This is not what I thought would be in store for me during Ann Walker. Oh, what a fine mess this is. Ah, it's you, the one who climbed on the mine shaft. Oh, you know what I mean. Hey guys, thank you for the prime sub. Welcome to the country better new state. Thank you. I'll show you around if I could, but I'm rushed off my feet preparing for the exodus. And I'm not the only one. We've all got to find ways to do what we do. Down here up there, first on the moon, then not whichever star the forum decides will become our new home. It's all so sudden. It's so unreal. Don't you want to go to the moon? Well, it's better than waiting for the final days to claim us. But no matter how carefully it's all planned, we'll never be able to take every variety of flora and fauna with us. Even the ones we can take may not survive in the new environment. So many species doomed to extinction. Sorry, that's not what you can talk about, is it? Nothing quite so dire, I assure you. We merely want, wish to sample a little of your produce, if we may. By all means, help yourselves. Much appreciated, my good fellow. So, where to begin? Um, do you want a lemon? Oh, I'm going over here, apparently. Grape juice or wine? Wine! Drink some wine! Oh my god! Wait! I understand why you said that now! Grapes! Wine. Definitely drink some wine. Oh, I know what these are. Grapes, yes? Let's see if they're as delicious as they look. So sweet, so sour. The taste is much like a ripe philosopher's carrot. <laughs> Sorry, I have a lot of like phlegm in my throat right now. And yet the texture is entirely different. The contrast between the outer skin and the fruit within is most peculiar. Though far from unpleasant. Yes, I think I'll try another. Cooking way seems to like the grapes. Well, that's certainly given me food for thought. Though in a far less visceral manner than any philosopher's carrot. But tell me. What is your opinion of grapes? A brave interrupting volcano for a choice bunch? Meh, gaslings, right? Rancid gigantodive balls. No, I, I, I would brave a volcano for them as well. Can 
Oh my god, that. Yes, they are rather Moorish, aren't they? And from what I've read, it's quite versatile too. Something about people stepping on them to make intoxicating beverages, as I recall. Anyway, it's enough about grapes for the time being. What's the next treat? Alright. To the orange grove. <sighs> oranges. Oh, they're oranges, not lemons. Okay. It was a lemon tree, my bad. Orange by name, orange by nature. <clears throat> what came first, the fruit or the colour? <laughs> Who cares? Let's eat. You know what? Doing the Lopperitz voice is... <laughs> it's what's making my throat all phlegmy. Holy shit. Good though, chat. We're good. Thank you for the hydration. Mmm, yes, that's. Mmm. Equal parts sweet and sour, as with the grapes, yet nothing alike. Mmm. I may have to consult Rianger about expanding my vocabulary. I simply cannot find the words to describe it. Perhaps what I'm looking for is bitter. This is all very complicated, you know. So many flavors, so many choices. And each individual with their own personal preferences. Now I see why you all have. Are you all turn your noses up at the idea of eating nothing but carrots? Marvellous though they still are in my estimation. Let no one say I said otherwise. Ah, but speaking of carrots, I've yet to sample any of the vegetables. Let's see what's in the field over there. Oh, it's raining now. Alright, well, what field are we going to? That's wheat. This side, this side. Pumpkin? I love pumpkin. Are you gonna get drunk with us at Offworld? No, I'm going to be working. Um, I might though if I if I can. Wait, are we, what are we talking about? Are we talking about are we talking about alcohol? We're talking about alcohols. It's a coat of the grapes. And that color, that texture. Are they some sort of enormous round carrots? No, they're pumpkins. No, in any case, proper nomen nomenclature, culture, in less of a concern than the taste. I thought you said you had a small vocabulary. I don't even know what that word is. Including my vocabulary is even fucking worse. <laughs> Sorry, I'm talking over cooking way and his lemons. Um, actually, they're oranges. It's so hard and flavorless. Flavorless. I may as well be chewing a piece of wood. The all but confirms it. These are nothing more than misbegotten failures masquerading as goodly carrots. Stop, stop, stop. Can't you see these are pumpkins? And no one with any sense would try eating them raw. I'm supposed to cook them first. Do you not find it an awful bother? Far from it. Cooking is a joy unto itself. And what's more, it broadens the range of ingredients that we may safely eat. But above all else, cooking allows us to draw out the full potential of our produce. Pumpkin stew has been one of my favorite dishes for as long as I can remember. Then perhaps even these hot blocks of plant matter can become as delicious as this. Whoa. <laughs> then perhaps even these hot blocks of plant matter can become as delicious as the orange I sampled. I wonder though. If there's anything even more delicious. How about that yellow fruit over yonder? Oh, are we finally looking at the lemons? Oh my god, are we finally looking at the lemons? What a wondrous fragrance. If you look, it'll have a flavor to match. As I have no idea how these are eaten, I'll just bite into it. Oh, cookie winner is not a good idea. It is sour. Oh, honey bunny. Honey bunny sugar. A lemon. You mean it's supposed to taste like this? How can something so similar to an orange be so revolting? Ah, maybe some time before my palate recovers from this ordeal. As such, I'd best call an end to this round of sampling. Let's say our farewells and return to the others. That is a great idea. Speak with Jebke. 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 
Well, it could be by cooking way. Okay. Finished, have you? I trust you found something to you like him. I'm rather enamored with the grapes and oranges, less than the pumpkin. Though I learned the hard way, they're not to be eaten raw. Then there was the lemon. The deceiver. I still feel so violated. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> First time, was it? I'd hate for you to leave with a bad taste in your mouth. In more ways than what. Lemon muffin, I begged. Just didn't change your opinion, nothing well. More lemon! Have I not suffered enough? Nevertheless, it would be remiss of me to spurn this opportunity. Minister came up there. Learn more. Learn more of your inscrutable ways. Very well, lemon muffin. Do your worst. I assure you, the lemon muffin is probably going to be very yummy. Vile bitterness could be utilized so elegantly. My good chap, this is simply breathtaking. My good chap. See? We rarely use lemon in its natural state, but it has a, a starring role in all sorts of recipes, and the same is true for many other ingredients. It comes down to making the most of the resources at our disposal, and sometimes that can even be the difference between life and death. I know we won't be able to take every species with us. No doubt the forum agonized over what was worth preserving and what we will be consigned to history. Our choices, but make them we must if we're to survive. Such strength of will. Now I know what Heidelin sees in your kind. knowledge of the ancients. They learned all there is to learn about the nature of sentient life and the fates of the stars themselves. Once a civilization has fulfilled the basic requirements for survival, it will inevitably seek to eliminate all forms of negativity and achieve perfection. And therein lies its folly and its downfall. Got me thinking about Vanna and Hermes now. I'm about to get emotional. I just realized a lot for it's so literally. In the oh my god, I'm reading chat like it's a dialogue. Also, the answer is probably. Wait, fuck. I just realized the Lopperts are literally lemon muffins. Their cuteness balanced out by wit and sarcasm. Oh my god, they are little lemon muffins! They are little lemon muffins. A little lemon muffinos. For perfection is an unattainable ideal. Is the paradox of the Immaculate Carrot. <laughs> the Immaculate Carrot. Yet civilizations since time imm immemorial have deemed the pursuit of perfection as progress. They pay no heed to the costs incurred in their futile quest, and all to become the architects of their own demise, the dreams forever unfulfilled. What then is the alternative? The answer lies in knowing that our existence can never be perfect. To be content with what we have and make the most of it. To be content with what we have and make the most of it. When life gives you lemons, make lemon muffins. There is no way this little fur ball is going to make me cry. Let cooking way cook, but not the cost of my cry counter. Uh, pardon my Orzian, but what in the seven hells are you on about? Who are you anyway? Cooking way at 
your service. I'm here to help prepare for the trip to the moon. And once you get there, you'll be able to try my carrots. They've been growing all different kinds. <coughs> but don't worry, there'll be room for your crops too. We'll work together to preserve as many of Ethereus' species as possible if you're up to the challenge. Yes, of course. I look forward to it. But this has been highly productive. Probably. Let's go and see if we are the others have run out of machinery to inspect, shall we? Oh, did we finally finish this quest? Are we finally done? Can we get back to the trauma? And the drama? Oh my god, the music. Wait, my controller is vibrating with the fucking mount. Is it gonna vibrate with this one too? Wait, it vibrates with each of them differently. With every whoomp, it vibrates. I don't think I have ever been more, like, invested. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my god. I've, I, oh wait, no. Well, let me see what the black chocobo feels like. It's gonna be thump, 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 thump. It is! Thump, 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 thump. Oh my god. This is so good. This is so good. Oh, the immersion. Oh no, I'm literally gonna lose my entire life to this again. Oh, sorry. Yeah, we're done. We're fucking done. That was most enlightening, especially the part with the lemon muffin. Actually, I was wondering, do you know of any other places famed for their cuisine? Uh, Lips of Minsa is home to culinar Culinarian's Guide, Guild, and many less than savory establishments. The Far East has oodles of noodles. I do like me some noodles. Would that I had time to visit. The more I learn of a theorist, the more I wish we could spare it from the final taste. The last Highland orders are to flee, not to resist. Only there was some other way. Question mark, question mark, question mark again. All right, this better be good. Oi, what's up, Kieran? Sage of Council. Okay, it's picking it up. Orianger appears to be tallying the look for it in preparation for an imminent departure. <sighs> Peppa, I trust thy time at Muriel Agronomics did <clears throat> bear fruit. Oh, Rianje, you sly bastard. Our own efforts, too, were rewarded. We now possess an embarrassment of educational riches. No doubt our, no doubt our guests' relentless pursuit of knowledge could occupy them, and us, for a fortnight. Alas, time is of the essence. Let's turn to Charlie and Hamlet forthwith. I shall gladly attend to each and every lawbreaker there, should further questions within my power. Within my, should further questions within my power to answer arise. Goodbye, growing way. <laughs> what was that about? What are you on? Did I just say, what are you on? Oh my god, am I becoming British? What are you on? 
Holy shit. It's happening. Going way. This doesn't look voiced, but I'm gonna turn it on just in case. <sighs> yes, Peppa, that was indeed me verbalizing a sigh to express my emotional state. Do you want to know why? Because I saw reconstructed, reconstructed environmental data for Ethereus at logistic. Logistican, Logistican Alpha, that's why. Forest so lovely and so, so leafy. I love your forest like that. Um, the Black Shroud is quite leafy indeed, and a place of utmost tranquility. The Verdant, at least. The trees of Dravania stand practically proud. <laughs> Did you see the forest of the first? One was purple. <laughs> Gasp, I say, gasp! With a star so wonderful, it comes as no surprise that you're reluctant to leave it behind. I was a fool to think otherwise. To assume that the moon was something worth being proud of. How ridiculous we must seem to you. Trying so hard, yet achieving so little. Ooh, I feel so bad. You guys are doing great. <laughs> Me too. Not at all. Thy works are no less worthy for their uniqueness. I thought I heard tiny voices. Oh. <gasps> Thank Chrissy. Thank Red. Husband. Husband. How didst thou fare? Oh, I was able to glean a fair bit from the research researchers while helping to move their cargo. Preparations have proceeded without interruption here, despite news of the coming end. We have the forum's leadership to thank for that. Doesn't mean people aren't worried, though. Quite the opposite. Knowing disaster could strike at any moment, they hurry to complete their work, equally aware that a single error could be the difference between life and death. We can hardly tell them there's no cause for concern. <sighs> Honestly, sometimes I forget how imminent the final days are. You know? Like, here we are, running around with bunnies, giving them a fucking tour guide. Giving them a fucking tour. And the world is literally burning. I really don't know what to make of all of this. I really don't know, like... I'm, I'm sure we're gonna save Ethereus. There's no way. But how are we gonna go about this? Are some people gonna end up living on the moon? Are we gonna colonize the moon? Like, I... I don't know. Perhaps not. Though aided by our goodly growing way, we may yet find other ways to lighten their burden. Me? Be of use to... to people? I'm honored that you would think me so capable, but I'm not sure that I'm up to the challenge. Nevertheless, I believe in thee. If you say so, I... I suppose, like, it can't hurt to try. I passed someone moping in the Western Plaza that looked to be in need of a helping paw. Perhaps we might start with him. A helping paw. Tell Green, thank you for the thousand biddies. I appreciate it. Just as good a place as any. Come. I love the little operas and her little turbans. They're so cute. But I want the drama. I want the trauma. Everything is too cute right now. Everything is too cute and too sweet. You know what I mean? Something's amiss. Something's amiss. There's not much for you to be doing while the ship is being retrofitted, so taking time away from the gut wrenching drive to help the cute rep folk is a good respite. I mean, I guess you're right. But I'd rather help! Troubled researcher. Right, let's see how this goes. Pit pat, pit pat, pit pat, pit pat. Oh, can I help you? It is you who would help me. <laughs> this my anxiety truly is so obvious. 
Now that is a fucking mood. A burden, a burden shared is a burden eased. Pray. Tell us of thy troubles. Those little fellows do look like good listeners. I'm an engineer, you see. And what they say of the ship, that it's the sum of decades of shyly and in ingenuity that is built with peerless, elegant technology. It's all true, but... I know, I know. None of that's a guarantee. We've never before launched a star-faring vessel, let alone flown it in the great expanse. All the tests we've run have been on the ground. Only operational personnel and cargo will be aboard for the first voyage. But even so, if it fails us then, what can we do? And if it doesn't, if we fall apart on the next flight, or the one after that? We've done everything we can to prevent that from happening, but it hardly matters. We thought the ether burners designed was for us too. Look how that turned out. I'm so sleepy. I'm so, so, so sorry. I'm staying as awake as I possibly can. All the crying from earlier has just butchered me. Angel, hello. Welcome to the chat. You've heard of slow burn romance? Now try slow burn trauma. That truly is what this is. This is the slowest of traumatic burns. Good night, Ashley. Take care. Thou art familiar with these most daunting technologies, and thus dost, and thus dost thou hold the power to allay, 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 allay his fears. Oh, I, uh, I'm not sure about that, but, well. Maybe you can tell me if there are any aspects of the ship's design that you're especially worried about. Our ability to walk about and perform, perform our tasks for one. I've devised a means by which to employ gravity. A space, a spatio, spatio-temporal spell to regulate the environment. But what if it's not strong enough? What if everyone floats away and begins crashing into things as soon as we've left the star? Ah, gravitation. Maybe I can be of help after all. Up there is not so different from down here, you see. The same rules apply, and if you consider them as part of one great big cosmos rather than separate places... <gasps> on the same page. I suspect both parties shall find comfort in this conversation. Sweet. Yet if Thancred's tale be true, still others would benefit from insights born of experience. Might I prevail upon the Lockperts to attend them? An excellent idea, if I do say so myself. There's naught we'd like more than to ease the hearts of the fine people of Atheris, and then more about them while we're at it. Rabbits in STEM. Full glad am I to hear it. Gather thy companions and bring them hither. Hello, Hypeside. What's up? Pepper, thou hast a gift for finding souls in need of succor. Pray seek thee out. Pray seek thee out the distressed, the distressed and the apprehensive, and inform them that help is at hand. I shall await them here, that I might introduce each to a suitable love for it. All right. This fetch quest requires me to fetch the depressed. Nice. Oh, and I, oh, I do look so I demand the bubble. Oh, I do so look forward to that. A place for every lopret, and every lopret in their place. <laughs> this is cute, though. I, I will say, like the this little lopret side quest is very cute. It's just with this music, it's so daunting. The music has me on edge, but nothing is happening. I'm with the fucking bunnies! Yeah, I don't know why they put this music here. I feel like it would be so much better without it. Alright, test is chilling with the distra distracted researcher. Yo, those boobas got them distracted. I'm gonna tell you that. Just bunches of weed in the ground. 56 bunches of weed. Rip one out. Add to the mound. 55 bunches of weed in the... Fucking ripping out weed, eh? Eep. 
I'm not neglecting my duties, I swear. I was in need of a little break, you see, but then I found myself unable to relax, and so I went for a walk. And then I noticed these weeds and... Pleasant conversation partners and oh so fuzzy. Goodness me, that does sound like a much better way to relax. Is this the same person who was hoping to speak with bunnies? Or something. One of them. Or maybe not, maybe it was someone else. Look like her. This music was bugged to the zone even after MSQ it wasn't fixed until 6.0 slash 6.2. Wait, what do you mean bugged? You mean I'm gonna be stuck with this music in this area till I reach 6.2? Oh guys, I just have to try Am I dying? Is this what dying feels like? Oh, that's an anxiety attack, bestie. Oh, do pardon me. I didn't see you there. There's no cause for concern, I assure you. No cause for concern, even though we may need to depart at any moment. And if the hull I designed buckles under the strain and the attack buckles under the strain, the entire vessel may explode on launch, claiming countless lives and dooming all mankind. But it's highly unlikely. Yes, it's highly unlikely. Highly. <laughs> Our visitors can help me triple check for structural flaws, you say? be wonderful. I'm breathing more easily already. Damn. So thanks the bunnies. I have to find six more people. Chat. This quest is actually putting me to sleep. No, no, don't worry. I, I got this guy. And I can, I can find them all. I can find them all. I'm just so tired. I'm just so tired. Do y'all think it's okay if I just don't read what these guys are all saying? <laughs> I'm so tired, chat. I'm so sleepy. I don't like, I don't mean to be dramatic. But like, our stream started off so crazy that I cried, and the game is now so boring that it's a buzzkill. Like, no shade. Y'all know I'm enjoying this game, but this break is such a buzzkill. This is awful. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna find them all. We're just gonna find them all and I'm just gonna bulldoze through it because I'm like... Oh. It would be... Wait. We're not gonna... That guy's not getting any Lopperets? I talked to him for nothing? This girl said my face? What's wrong with my face? Alright. Let's see with the mathematician. Go forth! Go! Go speak to the bunnies! Meow, 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 meow. I'm so sick and tired of hearing the song. This song is so dramatic for nothing. I now understand why someone in chat earlier said they didn't like the song. I hate it now. Capricious research, eh? Only sleep can save her now? Oh. She's going crazy? Yo, that's me. That's me right now. I can fucking relate to her. I can absolutely relate. I'm about to do a jig myself. Exhaustion is, is catching up. Alright, three more chat. I can do this. Oh, there's one here. Unconcerned Lena. 
And if we're lucky, only two more. Oh my god. Oh my god, no. Thank you for the 500 biddies. Nope, three left apparently. Three. Thank you for the 500 bits. Thank you. I finished the whole last Shadowbringers relic stuff. Oh, fuck yeah. And we still haven't even gotten to the next dungeon. Oh my god. No, I actually hate this. This area is so big and not everyone wants the help of the Lopperets. Like, this is actually terrible. Whoever greenlit this? I'm so disappointed in them. I missed one? Are you sure? Oh, this one? Oh, there are two here. Oh my god, please. Oh my god, please. Oh my god, please. Okay, two more, two more, two more. Two more, two more, two more. Two more, two more, two more. Catboy, 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 Catboy. Please, Catboy. Save me, Catboy. Save me, Catboy. Oh, he's so dramatic. Oh, Catboy, save me. Oh, goodbye, Catboy. Nice. Hello, Catboy. Hello, Catboy. <laughs> save me, Catboy. Thank you for the 500 videos again, Mango. Now, now one more. Now one more. And you know what though, chat? If this is the worst part of Endwalker, then I'm happy. This just feels like a Realm Reborn. I thought that was the final one and yet wow wow Yoshi P you've done it again you've done it again oh my god yes 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 I see you level-headed engineer what's up what did she say I don't know what this one said but this was not it either Nah, 
Nah. 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 There's no way. There's actually no way. There's no way. Three in a row, people do not want me. Dude, this music, I'm gonna, oh my god, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna commit a felony. I'm about to punt a lopper it. <gasps> Hello. Please. I'm in your, I'm in your chest, please. Please, tall, handsome Ellison, please. Orshvan just uh, tell, uh, sent me a tell. Do not despair. You are not without allies. Oh, thank you, Orshvan. By the 12. Thank you for the thousand bitties, Mango. Oh my god. We fucking did it, chat. Holy shit. Freedom! Freedom! <laughs> oh, all right. Behold, Pepper, the fruit through thine efforts, word, ha word hath spread throughout Labyrinthos, really to, <coughs> really to far, to a far greater number than we anticipated. Living way doth gather more lovers as we speak. More? More? I shall assign each in accordance with the skills that new bonds of friendship might be forged. Should greater matters require not fine attentions, watch over them, I prithee. Wait at the destination. Now you want me to wait? Waiting, we're waiting, we're waiting, we're waiting, we're waiting. Okay. Cat boy, cat boy. Save me, cat boy. Please, dear God, please be voice acted. Oh, it is, thank God. You can tell by the, the blur. Phew! Oh, finally some rest! Why, I haven't spoken so much in, well, in forever. You want to talk about rest? Lively, isn't it? The town is abuzz. Everyone eager to meet with our friends from the moon. would behoove you to consult with sleeping way <laughs> as our moon's pilot his advice should be most pertinent that's the pilot sleeping way i'm impressed truth be told i struggle to tell one from another no offense intended of course none taken after you and your friends left mare lementorum we spent no small amount of time with your urianje oh the conversations we had he told us all about Atheris, answered our every question, no matter how trifling or trivial. Look! Every page filled to the margins with knowledge. When I first arrived, I was struck by how little I knew. It was daunting. But then I realized that were it not for Urianje and his teachings, we'd still be stuck on the moon, gazing at your world and wondering what we've been missing. <laughs> I'm just picturing Uriange like Santa. What would they think if they could see Uriange now? I dare say they'd be more than a bit surprised and impressed, no doubt. Master Louisois, Minfilia, Papa Limo, and not to forget. Oh, there. Heard there was a visiting expert who we might bother with a few questions. 
I take it you'd be the one. Yeah, yes, I am. Wilson and Blavida, Charlian's foremost researchers in the field of teleportation magic, and Moonbreeder's parents. It, it hath been some time. Tis, tis good to see you in uh, good health. Likewise, old friend. Blavida and I were most honored to answer the call. Never expected this reunion, though, did we, dear? I'll say. The nerve. Sending that letter, then running off to the gods know where. Do you have... Any idea how worried we were? I... I'm sorry. It was remiss of me not to deliver the news in person. No, more than that. It was I who... Our daughter was disillusioned after Master Louisois left her behind. The day the Scions called upon her was the happiest I'd seen her in years. She made her every choice of her own free will. No one could have ever forced her to do otherwise. Don't blame yourself for her death. Celebrate her life. You know that's what she'd want. If there is one thing we resent you for, it was that we could not be there to mourn her with you. Are you Reading kidding? the words you penned in that shaky hand, we must have cried as much for you as we did for her. I'm sorry. I truly, truly am. I knew not what right to now? say. Knew not how to express my feelings. Oh, I have tears all over my boobs. The poems and platitudes of wiser men, musings on sadness and loss, oh. studied and memorized, and meaningless in the moment. Oh. Silly boy. We are all powerless before such grief. Even now, try as I might, the words escape me. But in our hearts, we know, we always know. I remember when you were young. How the lads teased you for choosing the company of books over others. Our moon didn't take kindly to that. Be nice to Orionje, she'd shout, and give them a walloping. No matter how many times we scolded her. So we offered a suggestion. Rather than starting fights, why don't you be the bridge between Orionje and the others? She had to mull it over for a while. Arms crossed, brow furrowed in intense thought. But from that day on, she never let you be alone. She'd drag you outside to play, pepper you with endless questions, read the same That's books you read, so all to try and understand you that much better. <laughs> I'm sure it was annoying and exhausting at the time, but she only ever had the best of intentions. And look at you now, at the center of the crowd. The reason there even is a crowd, having brought these people together. You've no idea how proud we are. Oh. To see the boy, 
Our daughter trusted and believed in more than anyone. Grow into the man she always knew he could be. Are you kidding? I can see her in you too. Feel her. She walks with you wheresoever you go. So thank you, <laughs> Orianger, for being who you are. Why? Where did this come from? <laughs> I... I think... I can feel her too. <laughs> what the fuck? The truth of her life. Not sorrow, but hope and love. to him, wasn't she? <laughs> you could ask the man himself. Oh, no, no. But watching this exchange reminds me how much I've yet to learn about your world. And its people. You can live here your entire life and hardly learn a thing. And that's why it's too soon for this to end. because it's over smile because it happened wow that was so good but that was so sad i didn't know hello <laughs> what's up i didn't i nothing could <laughs> nothing could have prepared me for that that was a really good cut Thanks for the headpads and hugs.
I was wondering when they were gonna like they had like they had to bring her back somehow in some way but like I, I thought it would be like like a flashback or something I didn't think it would be her parents telling Rihyoshi how proud they are of it I don't know why, but that cut deep. That hurt. I gave Uriyashi his BA. I had to look at how poor Uriyashi is. I was a little autistic rep. You know, it's funny. During that cutscene, I was thinking in my head that, like, he's very autistic, Conan. And it just made it, like... <laughs> no, no, it made it a little harder. How do you keep going? Cause this is what I'm finished. It's a hero! <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna keep playing. I don't wanna stop. I'm just so tired. <laughs> that killed me. Again so soon after that fucking terrible quest. Fuck. Okay. Okay. Oh, we have a hype train. Cute. Okay. Quest is garbage on purpose. Honestly, like a uh, pack heat for therapy. <laughs> Honestly, now that I'm like thinking about it, I'm glad that they made me do that shitty ass fucking quest. I'm gonna give Keen a hug instead. Oh, this is a big thank you for the five gifts and I appreciate it. Literally! No, seriously, that quest, like, I even, I literally even said it. It felt like an Realm Reborn quest. And then they do an Realm Reborn callback! Oh my god. 
blood test boobs will cure me. Where are the boobs? They will cure me. Oh, I feel so much better now. Thank you. Thank you, Tess. Can always rely on Tess. Blessed by the booba. Ah. Onward! <gasps> Wait, no, let me talk to Thancrit first. I want to see what he has to say. Remind me to invite Rinoche for a drink and we have a moment to breathe. We're long overdue for one. Heaven's Ward pain when I'm able to like cry when I think of Endwalker because that's the difference between like Heaven's Ward and like Shadowbringers and Endwalker with Heaven's Ward I think about Heaven's Ward and I start crying on the spot like I just start I just start crying on the spot I'm not exactly there with Shadowbringers but I think Endwalker is definitely getting there. Oh, I get kissed. <laughs> and then get head pat. Oh, I get hugged. <laughs> I feel so lightheaded. Ah, thank you for the head pats, Captain Aorzea. Oh, Pepper. Be assured that I am fine. I am. Well, glad to see them too after so many. Well, they're still that it was in your company. As difficult as it was to accept their kindness, it would have been far harder than had I faced them alone. Okay, hither and yours. I swear to God, if they make me do a clothing fetch quest, I'ma be pissed. I'ma be so pissed. Hall of Anxiety over Charlotte Hamlet has been to more manageable levels. <clears throat> Thou hast my gratitude for lending courage to the Lopperets. Not disposed to rest on the laurels, several of our guests have elected to accompany my countrymen to the stations. Some few may still come hither seeking counsel, and so shall I remain to aid them as need be. If thou art needed elsewhere, do not let me detain thee. As a matter of fact, I was hoping you might check on, check on Alize. Last I, saw, last I saw, she was struggling to carry an enormous pile of boxes off the last gate. I can go myself, we don't know who's up. She, she's, she's less like to spawn. Not 
to mention that much to my misfortune. I can think of several other things I ought to be doing. Until later. Great! I get to go see Alize. What could possibly go wrong? That's my that's my baby. My bazoo. My my little poo-poo. What could possibly go wrong here? How the fuck do I get out of here? Ah! Chat. <laughs> I'm so tired, chat. I didn't think he would knock me out like that. Yeah, no, we're finishing all this. We are finishing all this because there's no way I'm starting the next stream with any of this. Thank God Pepper is a tank and she can carry these boxes. Is this person naked? Oh, no. They just got their thighs out. God damn! Holy... Pepper size is getting to work. Mm -hmm. Oh shit, this way. I was quite the right way, fuck. Wow. Wow, that happened. Like the game did that. Oh, you helped me with the crates. Wonderful, you can put that there with the others. And now I'm picking up boxes. Make it make sense, Yoshi B. You have my gratitude, but how did you come to be involved in this? <laughs> Ha! I suppose I have Thankrid to thank as well. Thank Crud, if you will. If you're wondering why we were tasked with bringing these boxes to Aporia to begin with, so was I. Turns out that this is a base of operations of sorts. Those with final say as to what is included in the ship's manifest can be found here. Father included, I suspect. At least, eh? Boxes? Alize! That should be everything. You carried all of them at once. Are you trying to injure yourself? Oh, hush, the lighter than they look. Not everyone has your delicate arms. She called him scrawny. I suppose we should let someone know that we're finished. Theopolden Theop Theop is in the courtyard. We can report to him. Why don't you come along? You should get credit for your assistance at least. Considering where we are, we might even learn something interesting. Um, I, gu 
guess we're zooming. We're off to the races. <laughs> Alize is fucking deezed, apparently. Ali said, fuck yo, Twigs, look at these guns. Oh my god, this music. Why is this music still playing? Oh, the sun. Oh, the fake sun is so beautiful. Oh, hello, Kilometers Davis. Yeah, me. Cause it never ends, does it? What can I do for you? We brought samples from Charlie and Hamlet. Series 110. The crates are by the entrance. Oh, thank you. I'd expected one of my colleagues, but we are dreadfully short handed. Just a moment. You're fortunate as children, are you not? Alfino and Alize, at your service. You're well acquainted with Father, I take it. Quite. We're friends with your parents since our days at the studio. I remember when you were yay high. Waddling hither and thither. thither, thither. Waddling hither and th thither. W waddling hither and thither. I haven't said this word in so long. Hither and thither. Got it. Kilometer Davis, thank you for the two gifted subs. I appreciate it. Kelsey, thank you for the prime sub. Welcome back to the Coming to Regimals and your stay. Thank you, friendos. Clearly, it's been quite some time since we met. It's good to see you again. Wielding your family you for those new lips. No less. You knew your parents when they were young. What were they like? Very similar detail. There's like nothing more to, than to regale you. Alas, I am meant to be in charge here and three pieces of paperwork will for submission. We can help with that. They change with the sort of stories our parents would never willingly divulge, of course. Um, hey, well then. There happen to be three sets of documents in need of delivery, so how about you each take one? Oh my god. Right there. Meow, 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 meow. Oh, and me too. We will find a form representative waiting to collect these near the southernmost, the southernmost structure. Hope I haven't kept her waiting too long. Oh, my mouth and eyes, eh? Certain, no, back soon enough. Oh, man. I can't believe I'm doing batch class. I actually can't believe they've got me doing fetch quests right now. Are you not one of the scientists I'm on? I thought you were meant to be working on the ether burner. Here you go, here's your document. At least they're not far apart. People in paperwork. I was beginning to wonder. I was beginning to worry. I was beginning to worry you had misplaced as well. I wish you to help in seeing these documents to my hands at last. The other task, pray keep, pray keep this between us, but this may help me slide on succeed. The Exodus is without a doubt the most monumental undertaking in the history of the forum, and so we must be circumspect, circum, circum, circumspect in, all re, in all respects. The risk is a privilege we cannot afford ourselves. At its heart, however, Charlian has ever been a nation of the curious. It would be a tragedy indeed if we were the ones to stimulate a pursuit of truth. Alright, that actually wasn't too bad. That actually wasn't that bad. That was kind of quick. Alright. Quick and efficient. I dare say you have a top this work. Twins papers only needed to be delivered to elsewhere in the facility, so they should be returning any moment. Oh, cutscene. Oh, good. Oh, and it's not voiced. Oh, boy. We return with not a scrap of paperwork remaining on our persons, you will note. You both have my thanks and my apologies for, for sending you on an errand far below your ambitions. Why, even as a babe, you struggled out of your swaddling clothes and... That is quite enough of that, thank you. It was compromising stories of our parents that we'd asked to hear to reiterate. <laughs> Good night, Joker. Of course, of course. I've known your father for so long. I must have something. Oh, chat, how are we all feeling? Also, welcome, Fredward. Well, as you know, part of why the Levia name garners such respect in Charlie and is his family's storied history. The two can trace their ancestry directly to those who came ab aboard Nyonkrap's hope and the lineage few can claim. Our 
never thought much of it myself. It's not as though our forebearers founded our nation. They were simply there when it happened. Nevertheless, it has traditionally been a point of pride. This is why Nyun, Nyunkrap's pronouncement renounce the ways of war and pursue the enlightenment through knowledge and reason has ever been our family's creed. Until your grandfather's time, I... Arquan Louis looked... Oh my god, chat. I don't know if y'all... saw my tweet on my alt account but I was out for a walk and I kept forgetting what Louis Swa's name was so I was thinking about the twins yes I think about Final Fantasy 14 even when I'm not working and I literally I, I could not remember his name for the life of me I kept thinking it was Lebowski and so I tweeted what's the grandpa's name Lebowski and then like not long after I was like oh it's Louis Swa <laughs> I was so embarrassed, but like I, I was so confused. I kept forgetting Louis Swa. I was like, Lebowski Levier? Like that sounds right. <laughs> I can't Louis Swa look not to Neon Cap's words, but his deeds. He has certain in defiance of his peers, not choosing to save the great and the small. Oh, that choosing to save the great and the small from the rising tides was a true mark of a founder's virtue. Perhaps it was his expertise, his knowledge of ancient prophecy and the fall of civilizations that led to him to conclude that to eschew conflict at every turn was to consign mankind to his tomb. There will ever be conflict and calamity will follow. Thus, to know the plight of those one might conceivably save is not wisdom, it is ignorance. You remember his words well. Indeed, Archon Louis Soir lived by that personal creed and used every means at his disposal to add his disposal to bring the succor to those in need, Charlie and Anau. No one loved and admired your grandfather more than his son. Yet Fortuno could not reconcile Louis Wall's deeds with the philosophy of their forebears and his peers, philosophy in which he believed so fervently it made a pariah of his father. Fortuno agonized over this contradiction for much of his life. Son may carry his father's blood, but his choice saw his own to bear. Is not always thus. God's knows. God's no fortune knows a cranky old goat. So I'm sure you butt heads often enough. Yet even so, you must know that you're constantly in his thoughts, every moment of every day. There's not an exaggeration in the slightest. You should have seen him when you were born. Barely recognizable he was, with that kind of dumbfounded grin I'd not seen since he first took a fancy to your mother he was practically skipping when he told me the news take my word for it he loves you to an embarrassing degree but he is also frustratingly single minded once he's decided that a given action is for the best he will stay the course no matter who or what opposes him a profoundly annoying habit when you're on the other end of it as I'm sure you'll agree say thank you for your insight when next we meet our parents i shall mention that we spoke i love my children try not to get me into too much trouble now i need the forum on my side speaking of which i ought to be getting back to work i have to make sure those specimens you brought make it to their proper places or the cranky old goat will have my hide we can speak again later nice we did it we completed another fetch quest Woo! Hail, you three! Oh, Elle, my wife! Graha! Surely Cockle hasn't driven you out of the forge already? For better or for worse, no. However, he's set me a task that requires more than my single pair of hands, and here you are. I could use at least one of you, but I won't object to more. Unfortunately, Alize and I have prior commitments, and we have delayed too long as it is. <gasps> what about you, Peppa? Can you spare the time? For my wife? Of course! Perfect. It shouldn't take long. I do not mind helping Graha at all. Once forged, an unspecified task awaits. In the event that our, and I quote, promised heap of adamant adamantite falls right out of the bloody sky and into my lap, Master Coco wishes to be ready to, to put the proverbial hammer to anvil at a moment's notice. To fabricate these parts, however, he needs the flames in Coco's forge to burn. He sent me to increase the amount of ether being funneled to his furnaces. The 
Blow of fire is expected ether and labyrinth those is regulated by an elemental reactor south of here, to which I have borrowed the key. The adjustment will require two people to carry out safely, but I can explain the process when we arrive. This is when where we part them. We'll see you in Shelley and Hamlet once the Adamantite arrives, if not before. Ah. This way then. They're so close. Some space! Leave some space for Jesus! Leave some space for Heidelin! Wait, did I attune to this? me to jump I'd say how high you know he makes this so much better but look I don't know how many more fetch quests I've got in me chat because at this point I don't even like <laughs> I can barely entertain y'all you know what I mean the state that I am in right now I do not wish to be perceived the last one. Oh my god, save me, cat boy. Cat boy, save me. Cat boy! Cat boy! Save me, cat boy. Oh. I would absolutely give him uppies. I would absolutely give the sweet boy uppies. <laughs> Cannot see target? I can't see the target? <laughs> Reactor's housed within this facility. I'll be the one to go inside and just the fire ether output. When I do, a rather large amount of water aspected ether will issue from the vent at the top. I expect this to attract at least a few elementals which we would both rather not be drawn into the reactor itself. Trust me. Can I ask that you put down any of that draw too near? Cause it's a little trouble, I'm sure. All right, I have to protect the ether from the water ether. <laughs> Wait here if you would. Caught you. Do I have to defeat them out here? Peppers giving steppers. <laughs> Are you kidding? I moved right at the last second. We're like, ah, fuck. I get to push buttons now. It's so nice. While well, someone is farming over here. Oh no, they DC'd. The farmer DC'd. Oh, the farmer is back. Oh, but they have the DC button or like number uh, sign thing on their head. Oh well. Oh, cutscene. Nice. Did everything go smoothly out here? Oh. I thought as much. No major complications to speak of inside either. And the water ether appears to be venting properly. I expect Coco will ha have seen a difference in his void flames by the time I return. Since I have you, there's another matter I would like to discuss with you. Nothing terribly important. No something I've been considering. Part of this I shared with everyone, yet you, and only you, have been to Elpis. As we have established, 
the music. As we have established, refined adamantite is the product of Alec, of the Empire's twilight years, in fact. It was a material which saw much use as part of the Alligans' efforts to extend beyond the bounds of this world. Dalmuth, of course, being the most prominent. Of those who would push further, expand Alec's empire to encompass the heavens and the stars above, perhaps the greatest was its famous technologist, Amon. Or Amon, I don't remember how to pronounce the name, but from the fucking Crystal Towers. Oh, yeah! Wait! Because <laughs> Fan Daniel was Eamon and Hermes is Fan Daniel! Right? I believe he had his own reasons. There's no evidence to suggest that he retained memories of his former life. Oi. He only joined the Asians once the Empire was all but dust, as you know. If not his memory, though, what drove him to pursue the idea with such fervor? This may seem far-fetched, but what if souls, like minds, have a- I'm on to something. I'm on to something, chat. I'm on to something. I'm on to something. I'm on to something. I don't know what I'm on to. But I'm on to something. With me. I can't stop thinking about Asm. <laughs> and what this entails. But I'm just gonna let it play out. I'm just gonna let it play out. Caleb, hello! Thank you for the congratulations on the 1,000. I appreciate it, thank you. This may seem far-fetched, but what if souls like minds have a personality, so to speak? A natural disposition towards which they are inclined. We know with relative certainty that it was the gross decadence and inexorable decline of Alec that moved Amon to resurrect em Emperor Zandi. The Empire's people spoke lightly of death and destruction, experimenting on those they deemed beneath them to fill the emptiness in their hearts. Emptiness in their hearts. In facilitating Zandi's return, Amon provided these languid souls with the means to free themselves from the mire of their own indolence. Or would have had not Zandi been convinced by its own death that life itself was meaningless. Eamon's desire for his countrymen to conquer the heavens could only be a means to the same end, which instilled the people with him purpose. Like Hermes before him, Eamon was appalled by how those around him lived, who could never bring himself to believe that those lives were devoid of meaning. And both of them sought that meaning, that hope, in the distant stars. Such is my theory, anyway. Ultimately, it is the consequences of their actions which matter. The motives are of no moment, and yet... To reach those stars and wings of adamantite. To travel to the ends of creation and beyond. The promise of hope everlasting. That much I do understand. But enough musing for now. Why don't we see how Coppola is getting on?
enough with this music, please. All right, we got an ad break going on right now. Thank you all for uh, for being a sub and not getting any ads. Graha and Syra cooking together. We do be, we do be cooking up a feast over here. Peppers is getting a little bit burnt, but that's okay. <laughs> the voices, the voices. Wow. Am I, am I someone more than just Pepper? Am I more than just this little kitty cat? As if a knot is Hardalyn and like Asm and like Hermes is this and that and Emmet is this and that. My daughter just walked by and said, oh, it's best boy. She's still in her own board and even she knows. He is best boy. I feel like Graha Tia is that one character where the moment you meet him, you're like, oh yeah, I'll die for you. You know? <laughs> it's Pepper also from my sister, Miss Cyrus Spirit. Yes, sir. Or Shabba just sent me a little message. She said, You are always more a hero. I'm a hero! I did thoroughly pre cuckle on redefined adamantite's history. I only volunteered to go to the reactor because I was finished and there was little else to do. Hopefully, that dispels any misapprehensions I was kicked out for prattling on. Whew! I feel the flames are blazing from here! Glad you found someone capable of Graha, but there's not much left for you to lock to do. I think you can't drop that refined adamantite any faster. Bonds of adamant. Hi. Oh, okay, this seems like the last one because we're gonna get a current. Cockle Dankle is this usual worked up over the ether burner. Oh, I do trust you to deliver your promise. I do. Only I hate waiting! I want the adamantite and I want it now! We uh Show you impatience, I assure you. There's truly nothing else we can assist with in the meantime. I wish. <laughs> Where are you going? This sentence about some bearable. Pity the forum frowns on recreational explosions. <laughs> he said kaboom. Well, so long as they can't prove it was premeditated. Get you gone. I have mistakes to make. In that case, I suppose I should go return the key to the reactor. Uh, one more look to make sure that nothing has gone wrong, unintentionally otherwise. Listen to the better uses for your time, however. I'll join you and Charlie and Hamlet and all. Oh, chat. How are we feeling? How's everyone feeling? It's midnight where I am, it's 12.10. We're getting there, we're getting there, we're at five hours. We're getting there. If you wait here, your companions are bound to turn up sooner or later. Await your companions? Yes. Of course I'm gonna await my companions. That was a long wait. Surveying, surveying. My eyelash, holy shit. Oh, this looks like All it set, might be voice. I take it. Oh, it is. Yes. Yes. We finished what we could. Delivered supplies, tracked down escaped animals. Trivial tasks as they may be. That's enough, don't you think? If there was anything more important still undone, that would be a problem in itself. The vessel is essentially ready for departure. All that remains is to load the final batch of supplies and see everyone on board. Once we've readied the ether burner, that is. Ah, had a feeling we might find you all here. Our consultations with the Loperates, too, have run their course. Pleased I am to say that our researchers' concerns have, for the most part, been allayed. 
though some insist on making adjustments to the very end. For their part, Living Way and her peers have graciously offered to stay and keep the people company, lest any lingering queries go unanswered. All that remains is to wait for the refined adamantite. Speak of the Alphano, devil. Alphano, are you there? It's me, Cryo. Oh, did she bring Your her friend? special delivery has arrived. Round up everyone and come to the harbor at once. Speak of the devil. Let us go at once. I wrote this game. I wrote this game. I told you. Forgive the intrusion, Master Fortuna. I bring urgent news. A great commotion has broken out in Scholar's Harbor. Your presence is requested with all speed. Dramatic black screen. Now, where might this delivery be? Oh. Those are a lot of boxes. Madeline, my sweet boy. I'm sure it's very important, but we cannot accept these without the proper permits. By the Twelve? Surely, these can't all be. Oh my god, the Void Art Cat. Bleeding Hellfire! They're bringing them by sea and by air! All these folks in these crates. And more on the way. Got your adamantite right here. A bigger haul than any of these sorry bastards brought, and that's no lie. Yes, because you were charged with seeing the shipments from Gridania and Uldar here, along with your own. Give credit where credit is due. Sounds like the sorry whinging of a sore loser. An hypocrite to boot. Ain't no way a scrawny whelp like you took a dozen steps inside a Dalaman shard. I'll have you know I went all the way to the entrance. And furthermore, it was my contacts that enabled us to enlist the cooperation of the Sky Pirates. Ever since that one scene in Garlemald, the these the two? Well then, credit where credit's due, you did a right fine job sitting on your ass. Now kiss. Take that back. Make me. Uh, I will not stoop to your level. Uh... My, what a grand welcome party. Hancock and Saraban. We come bearing relics both sacred and elegant, as well as a few other gifts that may be of help, to be presented with best wishes from the Eastern Alliance. I myself have come with a sacred relic of the Kojin. Upon learning of your need, Bunchin bade me deliver it on behalf of the Blue with all haste. Fearing I could not swim here with the necessary speed, however, I thought to beg our Confederate allies for aid. To my delight, Hancock was already preparing for departure at the selfsame port. We and all had think space Hancock is hard, for additional right? cargo. Like it's not just me. We did, of course, need quite the impressive vessel to get it all here in time. Fortunately, our majestic associates have been more than helpful. 
It Look is at an Pepper, honor to join though. the Warrior of Light Pepper for another adventure. Pepper is literally they tell perfect. Me. That is our majestic Warrior of Light. That is our bean. That is all wonderful to hear, but what of the extraordinary cost? I shudder to think of the ransom we must pay for such a bounty. <laughs> Fret not for your coin purse, young Alphano. Lord Lollorito looks ever towards the profits of the future, and thus the East Aldenar Trading Company went to some lengths to reduce the financial liability. And since the Scions funded the entire venture, not a gill need be rendered up in compensation. Everything is already yours. We funded the venture. When? <laughs> Don't let the name fool you. you this coin keeper knows a thing or two about spending. Queen. Queen. When it comes to capital investiture, a sprinkling of gill here and there will not do. You need enough savings to make waves when it really counts, which is why frugality is paramount. Does she change her fit? We also have the benefit of she a generous looks so patron. Cute. Generous being rather an understatement. I literally love Tataru. I feel like she's so she underrated. She has supported us from the shadows since the very founding of the Scions. Eh, we even had coffers to fill. <gasps> Mother. Mommy! A millions. I remain, of course, an entirely neutral party. I simply thought our family's coffers were needlessly full. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We can hardly take them with us on your teeny tiny toy boat, now can we? And would be a shame to leave all that hard-earned wealth unspent. Waste, Waste not. not. Oh, my heart. I love Amelian so much. However, did you manage so much in so short a time, though? We expected word to reach only a fraction of our allies. Did I not tell you I have my ways? <gasps> Erenville, you were involved, too. I received a letter from Cryov after we parted ways in Labyrinthos. She explained what the science were trying to accomplish, and why you might soon require the services of the cleaners, spread across the world as we are. I pray you do not interpret this as a betrayal of Charlotte. I accept that the Forum's aim in pushing us to our limits was to preserve what knowledge we had, and I bear you no ill will for it. Yet, in collecting that knowledge, what I came to appreciate most about our star is that there remains so much we do not know. I'm swooning. That is why I chose to help the Scions, to combat the obliteration of those countless, undiscovered wonders. I held no illusions that they would be less demanding taskmasters. Though, rest assured, if I had, I would have been sorely disappointed. To make a long story short, the whole of the guildship cooperated to ensure your call was heard far and wide. What's this about a ship that can fly to the moon? Sid! And why didn't you mention it sooner? The one time you don't beg my aid, your problem's a bloody ship that can fly to the moon. See it? You brought the team. Of course. Garland Ironworks finest. And you need only pointers towards my new favorite ship. sunglasses. Oh my god. He fucking said. Mm. Oh, I nearly forgot. We stopped by Whirlit before coming here and picked up my a package games. from Gaius. He's still of the mind that actions make for better penance than words. 
contrite or otherwise. So we offer none of the latter. I'm so overwhelmed. What he sent is an elegant relic Valens used oh, in his shit. weapons experiments. Has a fair bit of refined adamantite in it too. That fuck ass with the bob. As you like as not suspect, oh we've also God. brought adamantite for more donors than a mud shard. I admit to some consternation upon first receiving Kral's message. So few scions remain at the Rising Stones now. Far too few for such an expedition. However, the Gleaners were able to secure us reinforcements. Idleshire's treasure hunters, not least among them. I know. Ah, the gobby frock fought. Slowfix's gratitude for the safe return of his daughter has not waned. And he gathered his kin to our side with an astounding quickness. How high Hori Boulder looks. The clash between their machina and the elegant defenses was a sight to behold. I wager, even you would have been impressed by the magnitude of the gobby booms. <laughs> the gobby booms. Fascinating as all this is, I fail to see how it explains your presence here. Does Razat Han not have more pressing concerns? We do. Yet averting the final days would be the most expedient solution. That, and I am indebted to you. Though they chose to take their leave of Thavnir, those you saved in Galimund remain my people. My gratitude is beyond words. It is appropriate I that so I aid you in kind. Right if in the doing we bring salvation to others of this star, so much the better. You will recall that I spoke of my father, Midgard Sumer, and his journey across the great expanse. As he traveled betwixt the stars, his resplendent scales drank of the ether in those nigh empty surrounds and imparted to him the strength to persevere. Thinking they might further your cause, I called out to my kin for consent. Is that what that was all about? Ashdaya's answer was silence, as ever. Tiamat and Chris Velgre, however, responded favorably to the suggestion. Is that what we were My sire, too, gave his assent. Thus have I brought you his own worm scales. Fit them to your purpose, and seek a worthier fate for us all. You'd be hard-pressed to find someone else so familiar with the unique properties of dragon scales. So I invited myself along. Look at me, this is so unbelievable. I've gone right back round to believing it again. <laughs> Forget a 6% gain in efficiency. Of all these goodies, we could get 7. No, 10. No, 14 bleeding percent. <gasps> That's a slay. Think of how far we could go. What we could do with that much power. I love what this for we us. We could blow love up. Love this for us. The 14, yo! If Kokol is duly convinced, then it must be true. In which case, the science end of the bargain has been fulfilled. Would you not agree? Mm -hmm. Oh, is this the part where I cry? Is he gonna pet them? Oh, I don't know. Oh, God. Yes, Father? Mm. Oh. Mm. I know not what you seek of Hydaelyn, nor for what purpose you would take command of our ship. Yet this much is certain. 
To do so will be to dictate the fate of this star and the lives upon it. The lives of each and every creature, in their magnitude and their fragility. Do you understand? And are you prepared? That's a lot of weight. We have seen and we have felt how much each life shapes this world. And so we are determined to abandon none. We understand what is at stake. And we are prepared to bear this burden. <sighs> then I... I will bear it with you. I beg you, share your struggles with me, as family. Look how teeny tiny they are! You grasped my fingers with such tiny hands the day you were born. I thought my heart might burst. It was love and happiness beyond expression. Overwhelming. And a conviction so powerful that I trembled with something close to rage. I had heard the final days foretold. I swore to myself then and there that I would not let them steal your futures. great exodus would succeed, must succeed. No sacrifice or sin was worse than the alternative. <gasps> if anything gave me pause, it was mine own father. The Archon Louis Soir openly decried Charlien's policies, a perspective which I regarded with increasing disdain as I grew older. Yet even as part of me thought him a fool, Perhaps I also hoped that he, of all people, would devise a brilliant means to save my children. A naive hope, but stubborn enough that I could never bring myself to keep you apart. No, that was his doing, when he perished at Cartano. As we pulled that twisted slab of Dalamud from the sea, I remembered the warmth of your newborn touch. Chastened, I vowed never again to suffer any interference in my mission to protect you. No matter that you yourselves wished otherwise. Detest me, fight me tooth and nail, I would suffer it, and more and be satisfied so long as I could force you onto the ship. <laughs> I was wrong. You two have grown so much stronger and so much wiser than I dared dream. You have earned the right to walk your own path and already begun to do so. Good, because there are things we care about, and people we love, and none of them is replaceable. Not a one. It cannot have been an easy journey for you to have come so far. We shall be glad to acquaint you with the finer details someday, once this danger has passed. All that we have seen and heard, that we have felt and learned in our travels, Ours is not a kind world, but it is beautiful. Oh, mommy? Always. Oh, no. Are you quite sure that's wise? After all, someone turns pale and flees the room when he sees so much as an envelope containing word of your adventures. Whatever will happen if he learns what you were really up to? 
chameleons. <laughs> Though I have wronged my children most gravely, I owe you an apology as well. I assumed that it was the Scion's influence that made them so keen to charge headlong into danger. Yours, in particular. Hi! I see now that said influence instead brought them together with the many fine people gathered here today. In which case, I hope you continue to guide them. Yes, sir! If we finish loitering about the harbor, might I suggest we put our plans into motion? People are beginning like, to look confused. <laughs> Perhaps you can spare a few words ere they resume the tedious lugging of cargo. Me? You have no small number of friends and admirers here, after all. About to fucking fight the ultimate weapon again. Um, lend us your strength. Our moment of triumph is close at hand. With me. Um. 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 Top one. Go to top one. Yeah. That's it. Come on, Pepper. You can do better than that. <laughs> Your assistance is appreciated. Now, in an orderly fashion, if you please. It is as young Master Alfino said, the world is beautiful, and so are you. Just like all the trials you have faced to reach where you are now, once again you are now standing at the anvil, and it is time to test your steel. Or Shvan got the fucking words of wisdom, the motivational words coming through. Bars. And you finally managed to clear the harbor, which means the rest of the engineer is capable of that. Father has issued to us an invitation. As we agreed, he will reveal the means by which Highland may be contacted. We are to meet him at Aporia when we're ready. Given the vital knowledge she holds, it's just we leave without delay. It transpires, however, that the former's method for speaking with her is not without risks. I'm curious to hear what those might entail, but regardless, be warned. Most of those who arrive at the Adamantite have offered to stay and see to any remaining tasks that need doing. Forum has already asked for my assistance in overseeing the process, so you didn't you needn't worry about a thing. Thank you, Tatar. We're off to Aporia then. Alright, chat. I think that's gonna be the end of this quest probably. Oh no, I guess not. But that will be where where um where we wrap up. Like, this is gonna be the, the last of it. Oh, fuck. It's 12.30. Hello, friend. Pepper, origin is inside. You don't want to speak with uh, Caroline. There's a key to the lift. And it can send you down after. 
didn't turn around. Didn't turn around. What do you mean by that? Hi, Fennis. Oh. Is there a dungeon coming? Is that why we're all propped up here? Alright, let's go through this. And then we're gonna wrap it up. Oh, you were right behind me and all. Oh, I didn't even, I didn't, oh, I didn't see that. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I missed that. From here, we proceed to the heart of Labyrinth, the most closely guarded secret, Thaumans, Thaumans. By swinging the ends of our efforts, once we delve to seek audience with the star, and once we will embark on our journey to the heavens. This way, please. Sorry if I'm like... <laughs> I, of course I instantly went for Albie, that's my son. Um, sorry if I'm like, my dialogue is a little bit like iffy right now. I'm I'm very tired and I'm very sad and I'm very like, ah. So reading is, is not my strong suit currently. Yeah, I've cried a lot tonight. I did, I did tear up um, during the, the talk with, oh. Okay. <laughs> Didn't even let me speak. Yo, is this our ship? That ain't no teeny tiny toy boat. What in the Star Trek? Holy shit, that thing is huge. Bid you welcome to Thalmazine. Direct your attention towards its center to, be to behold the arc, the arc over which we have long labored. You can see my makeup on the rim of this. <laughs> Bid you, hello! It does kind of look like the Normandy. Oh my god. Yo. ME fans, rise up. As you can see, it was designed as a medium-sized craft, the better to reduce fuel consumption. Miniaturizing magics have been applied to its interior to ensure that the thrust-to-weight ratio does not place too great a limitation on its freight capacity. The Bryce is right. Thank you for gifting us up to tiny toy boat. The ether burner, as you know, has been removed for further modification. We shall reattach it soon enough. I received word from, from, from Cockle, 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 and several of your allies are working on it with an intense fervor. They are sure to see it done, which is why the expertise that many a prior disaster was averted. If anything, I fear they will not afford us much time for speaking with Heidelin ere they finish. Oh yeah, I always keep forgetting that they are in communications with Hydaelyn. But how? Point taken. Let us move on. I must warn you again, however, that even with the benefit of a device, to treat with her is not a simple feat. Okay. I'm wrong. <laughs> Hello! No! This is making me nervous! Why are you all here? This is making me nervous! This is making me nervous! Good night, Lissy! Good night! Look, we even got we even got grown-up Alize over here. Slay. I'm nervous. Where did adorable come from? Where the fuck were you? Alright. I've done what I can to impress upon you the gravity of what lies ahead. Are you prepared? I don't think so. Oh, oh, oh. Not question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark. Oh my god. Chat, do I do it or do we wait? Do we do it or do we wait another week? Not another week, but another couple of days. Do it? Oh my god, we're on the level 89 quest!
Okay, chat. Are you ready? I'm so, I'm I'm so nervous. Are we doing it? <laughs> ah, we make for the lift at the center of this chamber. Come. Ah. Where am I going? I don't know where I'm going. This way? Let's go! Let's go! We go! All right, here we go. Oh, do we go this way? Okay. Okay, I'm following y'all. <laughs> Onward! With me! Lend me your strength, warriors of light! <laughs> oh. I'm uh, her children, one and all. I'm gonna pee pee poo poo. I'm... Ah, this is... Ah! This doesn't feel real. This feels like a hoax. This just simply does not feel real. All right. Is this an NPC? Yes. <sighs> let me let me talk to let me talk to everybody real quick. The ether here is more brilliant than I have ever seen. Ah! This doesn't strike me as a as particularly dangerous in this one. Is afraid of lips. <laughs> With the ship in the way, I didn't even notice this was here. All right, eh, I'm trying to speak with Kryl. <laughs> I should hope that Master Potional has more to share. Is sending anyone something to fear you'll see. They must employ a full cohort of engineers to maintain the lips. Oh my god. I doubt there's anything worth worrying over. Not for Highlands Champion, at any rate. Oh! stop okay that was exactly that was the confidence boost i needed i i, I needed that i needed that final champion that's me am i the only one feeling to be nervous actually not i'm with you it's okay you and i can hold hands and we can put a stadium in front of us to keep us safe it's okay it's a means of communing with the heart of the star it's disappointingly mechanical in design i know right i actually agree with you <gasps> Apple Split! Hello, Apple Split! Who's this person? <laughs> this is some poor person who probably has no idea what the hell is going on. <laughs> Unless... <laughs> oh, okay. Alright. Here we go. Oh my god, it started to cut immediately. Okay. As you... All know, alongside our physical world exists an ethereal plane, what we refer to as the ethereal sea. At the heart of the star, the physical and ethereal are one and the same. Thus, the deeper we go, the easier it becomes to pass between said planes. We utilize this principle in constructing the anti-tower and once more here in Thalmazain. Holy fuck. What the fuck? No sooner did the forum decide that an exodus from the star would be necessary than it began work on this facility. Our work culminated in a device that allowed us to peer deeper into the ethereal sea than ever before, in search of Hydaelyn's ever fainter echoes. The Iteoscope. And you communicate with her through this device? For a time, yes. But since the seventh umbral calamity, it has been rare to hear, to hear even a whisper. If you wish to reach her, you must journey closer to the center of the star than we have ever dared, beyond the Iteoscope. Even so, I make no guarantee that you will find her. Nor of your safety, not so deep in Thurial Sea. We understand. But if we are to deliver this world, we have no choice but to try. I know. I only wish we could do more than observe your progress from afar. 
the ITScope's ocular lens, by which we may peer into the ethereal sea without placing ourselves at hazard, lies, lies above us. Through it, we can watch and guide you. In those swirling depths, there are pockets of ether so dense and turbulent that they can unravel one's soul. If we determine that you are at risk of coming into contact with such a pocket, we will recall you with teleportation magics. To that end, it would be best if one familiar with the composition of your souls remains here to assist in assessing said risk. Otherwise, there is an increased probability that we will be that we will extract you too early. Too late. Please, allow me. I have thought upon this much, and in truth, I do not believe that I am fit to join you in the trials ahead. The events at the Tower of, ba of the Tower of the event at the Tower of Babel drained me, yes, but even before that, your capabilities far outstripped my own. There is no time to have a weak link in our vanguard, no matter how sh how much she may wish it were otherwise. If I assist in the manner that Master Fortuno has laid out, however, I may still be of use. Do you trust in me to do so? I can think of none I trust more. Compared to all the effort to all that effort you put into keeping us alive while our souls were in the first, preventing us from dissolving into ether on a single expedition ought to pose no challenge at all. And even if we did, I expect you would hunt us down and restore us to health somehow. You flatter me, but rest assured that I will be keeping a close eye on all of you. Wait, is there a dungeon? There's one more thing. Wait, is this a dungeon? Those in the ages past refer to the DLC as the Underworld. Hades, my beloved. <laughs> A final resting place. And its embrace is memory washed away, leaving only the purity of one's soul, or so we believe. And what are these memories? If you think to ask what becomes of them, cast adrift on ethereal tides. Some theorize that they linger for some time, those associated with strong sentiment in particular. In those depths, memories of the departed may even coalesce, coalesce you, coalesce around you, for hatred or for love. Thus, do I caution you to be wary, but also to have faith. Remember those who did gladly extend a hand to you, that they may lift you up once more. Can I, Venice? Is this a dungeon? <gasps> Oh my god, it's a dungeon. Who is this? <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> oh my god, it's a dungeon. <laughs> I'm just one of your friends. Slay. Now is a good stopping point? Nope. Nope, chat, are you ready? Nope. Are y'all fucking ready? Some of our glow sticks didn't load in. Oh yeah! Some of the glow sticks didn't load! Mm -hmm. It's dungeon time. Can I change? Oh fuck, all right. Well, Pepper is, I guess, um, dungeoning it up in her cute outfit, which is not really a sleigh, but I mean, I guess I could like quickly Quickly change her fit. Nah, nah, it's fine. Pepper can, Pepper can do a dungeon in in glam. We got time. Okay, thank you. <laughs> it's for my immersion. Okay, it's for my immersion. <laughs> not this music. Not this music. No, not this music. Please. All right. 
Wait, is my portrait good though? Okay. All right. Okay. Who is joining me? Who is accompanying me? I'm assuming we have Gain. I am shocked that John Final Fantasy isn't here. I would, but I'm drunk. Hey, Riku, don't worry about it. I'll mod if any of the other mods want to join you this time. We'll see. Let's see. You know what? I haven't played Widgen in a hot minute. I'm gonna invite him. If he wants to join, he can. Let's see. Does a Vosk want to join? I want to come. Oh yeah, Gain. Okay, wait. I thought I added you, but I instant added L. Okay, perfect. Then we're good. Then we're full. Sure. Wait, no. Then we're full. I'm so sorry. I completely fucking baited you. Test. There we go. Cause like I insta added L, cause I know L wanted to join real bad. <laughs> With Oscar here in spirit. You're cleaning up behind me. Oh, all right. We're good. Oh. Well, now I know who to bring if there's a trial. If we get a fucking trial, if I... Is Hi Do you think Heidelin is the final boss? No, it's Medion. All right! <laughs> Look, now I see. Look, oh my god, you guys are in sync! Yeah! Yeah! Hey! Hey! Who? Who? <laughs> All right. Damn. Yeah, you know, I was just thinking. I've There are only five dungeons. Every other level, I've gotten a dungeon. Well, actually, no, I guess that makes sense. Same thing with Shadowbringers. Okay, same thing with Stormblood. Same thing with Heavensward. Okay, maybe I'm crazy. <laughs> you know why? It's because a Realm Reborn has a THOUSAND! <laughs> oh my god, this is a dungeon? Yo! Chat! What the fuck? Oh my god. You know, I was wondering... I was wondering when that next dungeon would happen. This is so cool! Ding! Seems in order with the lens, and I trust you can hear me. Oh, I'm playing for the first time with my um. Those things are pure malcontent. My um. The residue of life. PS5 controller. This is gonna be interesting. All right, wall to wall, baby. are just like barred off. Hello. Oh, sinking arrogance. Oh no, it's giving shadow bringers. All right, are we gonna be good? 
Look, if I can wall to wall with NPCs, with Emmett and Vana, we can do this, okay? Go. Queen of Heels. Queen of Heels. Interesting. Does he explode at like 1%? Ooh, look, fire. What's it gonna turn into? Oh, nothing. Billbird? Oh, what is gonna happen in this dungeon? They did mention that, like, people would call upon me or whatever the fuck. Now that is a voice line I haven't heard in a very long time. In a rush of familiar wisdom, the memory of principal Scion takes form. Scion's memory? What? Oh! Whoa, what did I just do? Whoa! What did I- Whoa! Whose staff was that? Oh! Oh, right! Oh! Well... Well, that sucked. Wait, she's hot. Wait, Livia's hot. Not as sensitive as my PS4 controller. What is ag? Oh, okay. Is this based off of her arms? The ones that are lit? It's whatever direction they're in. It's a cone? Okay. A real one. Hey, I didn't die. I didn't die. Follow 
the flow Hi. of ether. It will guide you. What is this? What is this? Find the flow of ether. <gasps> ether current. Oh, I, f I go new. The ether is too dense. Oh, I'm losing you. Tune. We're attuning. We're attuning. This is so pretty. All right, let's go. Sinking desire. Okay, this is another memory. That's an axe. Brotherhood. What is that, Ardbert? <laughs> oh. oh, just Brotherhood, meditative Brotherhood, in a rush. Together forever? No, that's not what that says. That's not what it says. That's not what that. No. Was there? Was there something that? Was there something that said that? No. I don't like this game. I don't like this game. That was the name of his cast. I don't like this game. I don't like this game. I'm uninstalling this game. Rita? Yeah, it does say the memory of a valiant archon. Fuck. Oh my god. I don't like this game, bro. I do not like this game. Oh, we have ads running now. Wait, so they all have like... Wait, so then what does... um? Oh, is it gone? No, I wanted to see what the, the buff for the axe was. Fuck! We have to run it again. We gotta run it again. We gotta we gotta run it again. I gotta I gotta read these things. Am I finally in a dungeon that I have to pay attention to the little things? <laughs> what did the ass say? Is 
AOE against enemies, but like what's the what's the name of it? that I need it. Okay, who's this? <laughs> Run it with NPCs for extra emotional damage? Oh man, should I have... Should I have fucking done it? Should I have done it with NPCs? Would that have been the move? Because running that other dungeon with, um, with Emmett, Hithlo, and, um, Vana was like, that was great. That was so good. Mm. Okay, wait. What if... What if I ran it with NPCs off stream? <laughs> I can cry off stream. <laughs> and then I can go through it really slowly, you know? And actually take in what the fuck is happening. I'm too tired for this, man. I'm so tired. Man, all the fucking orgy references? This game is cruel. That's what the little HP bar is for? Oh, what of course. Yeah, the PS5 controller is not it, chat. I've had more struggles with it than my, um, my PS4 controller. Shrapnel show. Oh, that's that. Okay. So we go into the one that... this one. Ah, look at me learning. Okay, sir. Oh, I just used all of those when I didn't need to. Right. Well, we're getting deeper. Are they gonna lose me? Oh look, there's a little there's a hole over there. Ah! Am I gonna be zipped? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, how am I gonna walk? Oh. Oh, it's all shardy. It's all shardy. My presence. Oh, what is happening here? What is going on here? What is what was all that? What are those? It looks like a like an ether thunder current wormhole thing. 
thinking impatience? Yo, it's me. Wait. I'm going, I'm pulling, 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 I'm pulling. I'm pulling, I'm pulling. Oh, pretty. I'm like, I'm gonna crash. I'm not kidding, Chad. After the stream, I'm honestly gonna crash. Like, I'm struggling to like, Minfilia's spirit. Oh, oh, d oh, damn. Oh, okay. Okay. Yo, humble elves, what's up? Almost done. <gasps> Adrian, hello! We do love Minfilia in this household, don't you worry. No Minfilia haters here. Chat, I'm awake. Are we good? Are we good? Many faces have I worn, but this is my favorite by far. Oh, 
left Virgo Forte. Oh, Tesla. Okay. I guess. Let the curses rise for the attraction. Okay, slay. Oh, this is a big one. It's a long build up, okay. When leaps front the pages of memory. <gasps> Mommy? Mommy? I go behind it. Oh. Thank you for pulling me. I was not gonna make it. I figured it out, but I was not gonna make it. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm gonna move here. Okay. Okay, right. Wait, that's my right. I'm so... When I said they're le... I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. Okay, so whatever angle... Whatever an angle... Okay, so... Yeah! Oh, I knew it. Okay, cool. Oh, we're done! I didn't even see the health bar! I didn't even see the health bar! Holy nice. shit! chat we're gamers what's the loot what do we got wow you guys weren't kidding no it's literally just all jewelry and shit accessories oh fuck now what? Oh god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Mommy? Oh my god. Oh my god. Imagine seeing Minfilia's spirit with Banquet in your party. Oh fuck. Oh shit. Oh god, he's coming back. Oh, but he's small. Yeah. My very essence begins to wane sweet sweet agony mm. what's she gonna do rip off that mask what's she gonna do leave <laughs> this to her <laughs> let her cook he said let her cook come to deal the coup de gras Good. <laughs> Watching you struggle against the inevitable is bad comedy. Erase me from existence, soul and all. What do I say? I don't want to go with number two. I feel like number one is the 
more like forward approach, like where the fuck is the bird? But I feel like asking if he remembers his days as Hermes is like softer, you know? Like, do you remember the good times? How would you know that name? Because I know you. <laughs> then it was you in Elpis with them it sucked <laughs> the final pieces fall into place <laughs> In my halcyon days, as the mortal Amon, I was haunted by a dream. I'm gonna fucking shit. Night after night, the faceless multitude, the voiceless cries, shards of shattered memories. But slowly, the fog began to clear. This was Alpis. And I... I was Hermes. Recurring though it was, I paid this dream little heed. It was only when I was granted the seat and memories of Fan Daniel that I knew these visions to be true. They were the memories of Hermes that he himself erased using the power of Kairos. Or so he thought. In his attempt to burn away the events of that fateful day, he succeeded only in searing them more deeply into his soul. My soul. Death failed to expunge them no matter how many times it came rebirth after rebirth from one fan daniel to the next i wonder is emmet selk adrift somewhere in this ethereal sea in defeat finally remembering your time together in elpis how it must gall him to be entrusted with knowledge of the final days, only to be rendered powerless to act upon it. So many lifetimes dedicated to restoring his beloved Amaroth in blissful ignorance. Oh, Man. folly. <laughs> but make no mistake. My life as Hermes is not the reason I invited the world's end. I have lived. I have struggled. I have dredged the very depths of despair. And in the detritus of existence, I found the truth. I served a great ruler, powerful beyond measure. The world, his dominion. Yet even he and his vast empire were destined to fall. To become one with oblivion. At the end of life's journey lies only death. So I ask you, why live at all? We betray, we torment, we murder. We are wicked, spiteful creatures, without exception. If life is so sacred, so precious, why fill it with such misery? Man wallows in a hell of his own making without purpose or meaning. 
To live is to suffer. And I would end that suffering by my own hand. It matters not if it flies in the face of all believed right and just. Death is the only solution! That is my truth. My answer to the question. And yet... Even as the words pass my lips... I am filled with doubt. Has my search reached its end? Was this the only way? After all these years, I was hoping for. The lamentations of the damned. How it vexes me to see your conviction falter at the last. Van Damme. Still clinging to existence, I see. You, you, who champion death so fervently. Unwilling to accept your own, refusing to be purified and swept into the sea of souls, as do I. We prisoners to men, watching as the world turns. Though unlike me, you will be spared the ignorance of having your corpse made a puppet, dancing to another's tune. Is that... Arsahi? How very astute. But let me be clear, I have not come to consort with the likes of you. Nor have I come to bemoan the state of the world following my untimely demise. In fact, I delight in mankind's downfall and the anguish it brings the savior of the savages. If I played some small part in the chaos, all the better. Not that I was in any position to resist. But to be made accomplice to the betrayal of Lord Xenos, I would die a thousand deaths to exact my vengeance. <laughs> the sky. Now you are at my mercy. I shall drag us both into oblivion, and you will never see the fulfillment of your magnum opus. Even should you be reborn, your Desperate search for answers must start again. Jesus. Hey, he's true to his character literally till the end. We'll do what must be done next time we will find. Do I even like, do I even like need? to guess which one Pepper's gonna pick. Like, do I really need to think twice about this? Next time we will find the answer together. Even here, even now, you have every right to hate me. For the fool I was, for the monster I became. But I will not beg forgiveness. A tale of Hermes, the man who knew so much, yet understood so little, ends here.
Just like that, eh? Don't try to follow me. I had more of you people than I could stomach in life. Oh my god, get Never away. Leave. Death. Likewise, I pray we do not meet again. Literally, just go. Leap. <sighs> you had better hope not. Ah. Okay, kind of iconic. Kind of iconic. Fuck. Alright, well, I mean, we still gotta find mommy, right? Well... I guess that answer is that. Come. Hydalin is waiting. Ooh, boy. I know seeing Alfie get sassy that that brings that brings so much joy into my soul. Got a little bit of Alize in him there. Oh, I don't even get a pause here. Yo, I wish I got a several cutscenes would play in sequence pop up Jesus oh man how's this gonna go for thank Chrissy yo I need sunglasses oh man the mother crystal brave travelers I welcome you Vanna oh, 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 telling you right now this game has got me bamboozled holy fuck every time i see like a heidelin recreation whether it's reen menphilia vana this i'm always like i will die for you not would will like i literally will we meet again vana did she recognize me? I mean, she has to. It's Heidelin. <laughs> I see. Thou didst journey yeah! into Alphys. Yes! And now, the rivers of time converge. God, she's so white. I know why you have come. Yet I would hear you speak your reasons all oh, the same. The animation on her is crazy. It's giving. It's giving. It's giving you boss vibes, though. It's giving trial energy. But is that really how it has to end? We do not wish to abandon this world. We want to protect the source and all of its shards. To flee is but one of two paths. The other leadeth to Meteon, mm. far beyond the stars, where she doth chant creation's requiem. So it's literally leave to the moon or fight Meteon. Well. Her domain is formed of dynamis, pure, absolute. Where emotion and memory govern all, ether will avail you naught. Meteon hath gathered the pain and despair of countless stars, and to go unprepared is to go unto your doom. We'll beat her. We'll win. I swear it. Uh, is what I might have said once. Alize, I need you After to be our hype I've seen, girl. After all the times I've succumbed to my own anger and fear, I can no longer pretend that courage and faith will be enough. But are we truly so powerless that our only choice is to flee? 
Far from it, my child. Long ago, the inhabitants of myriad stars, many more prosperous than Atheris, sought to free their worlds from life's woes. Sorrow and anger, conflict and hostility, despair, and even death itself. But as Meteon reported, every attempt ended in failure. Darkness abideth within every living being and can never be cast out. Neither reason nor faith can challenge this immutable truth. She said we all bad. <laughs> to live is to suffer. And in suffering, find strength and purpose and hope. As you have done so many times before. This is so crazy. I'm speaking to Heidelin right now. Thou dost pursue an impossible dream. Yet knowing this, you pursue it nevertheless. And thou hast learned to depend on others as they do thee. Thy yearning for the power to save the powerless hath ever driven thee to greater heights. Thou hast grown strong. Those are my babies. Though so those closest to thee no longer walketh by thy side, their love remaineth thy guiding light. Hmm. For duty's sake, thou hast been bound by truths unutterable time and time again. Yet thy heart hath never wavered, as thy companions will attest. In thy pursuit of mysteries great, all thou believest is brought into question. Undaunted, thy thirst for knowledge remaineth unquenched. The fires of hatred that once burned in thy heart burneth no more. From their ashes doth spring the light of love, warm and pure. As witness to black calamity, thou despaired at man's helplessness. Resolved, thou didst unite a distant world on the brink of collapse. What about me, Mama? And thou, my champion. When all did seem lost, <laughs> thou never abandoned hope. <laughs> For every trial and every foe that did bar thy way, thou hast proven equal to the challenge, drawing courage from the many bonds forged on thy journey. You have all known despair, and though the end approaches, you walk on, heads held high. Therein lieth your power, the strength to silence the song of oblivion. Then there is a means to confront her. Yes, if you should prove yourselves worthy. Uh, how do I prove myself worthy? By defeating Hark. you? Hark? Hark. Hark! Thy angels sing. I was joking. I was joking. Not impossible is it to send mortals to the edge of the universe? Should you fail? There will be no second chance. I was joking. As the will of the star, I ask of you this. Do you possess the fortitude 
to stand firm when all around you does crumble? Do you possess the faith to vanquish despair itself? Yeah! I do! Should you lack the strength to best a supreme deity, I cannot allow you to make the journey. She literally wants me? You must leave this star and never return. Worthy, eh? Sounds straightforward enough. He's ready to go. Don't kill me. Aye. No room for confusion there. In any case, we've come too far to back down now. I am of the same mind. I'm so emotional, but I'm what so dry. I, have, I shall bring to bear. Oh, a Chad the moment. three of you seem to be forgetting who we're up against. It's not every day we battle a divine being of untold power. Well, not quite every day. Do try not to get underfoot. Needless to say, there'll be no margin for error. Oh, I love her. Let us hold nothing back for the people of this world and those beyond the rift. This is so extra. This is Alas, so extra. The question I posed to thee in Elpis hath remained unanswered these long years. I would hear thy response, warrior of light. Shouldst thou emerge victorious? Oh my god. This is crazy. This is so crazy. <laughs> what is this game? What is this game? What the fuck have these last almost seven... It's, I've been streaming for almost seven hours. What the fuck? Uh, during this quest, when using the duties of person, we have the opportunity to take this shot with a party of scions. Okay, well, we're not doing this. I already, I told myself internally as the cutscenes were originally playing with, like, like Aben and Asahi, I was like, I know there's a tri there's got to be a trial coming up. I'm not doing it. I, I can't do it. I'm very, very tired. And like, this stream has actually like, I don't even, I don't even know. I don't even know. I can't even describe what this stream. Started with a bunch of tears because I got how many fucking gifted subs, and then, and then the game. Yeah, it's it's Mimi's time. It's Mimi's time. I I don't I like even when we were doing that dungeon just now, I was like very evil very EP. I, I, it was really hard to focus, so I think we're going to continue MSQ either Monday or Wednesday, depending on how I'm feeling. Like, yeah, roller coaster doesn't even begin to cover the stream. You're so right. This is a pretty decent cliffhanger, which is kind of what I expected was going to happen. Um, what is the cry counter at, by the way, Chad? Have y'all been keeping track? What are we sitting at? where like I got emotional but I didn't like cry yeah a long 96 yeah exactly um there were like parts where I was like fuck but you know like no tears like you know Jesus. 
No, I didn't I didn't cry there because I was so exhausted. I was just like I was thrown off. I was absolutely thrown off, but it did make me cry. Um plus I couldn't really like process it. It wasn't something that was like completely in my face, but I am emotional about that. I am absolutely emotional about that. Oh, the moon burrito scene. I don't even want I don't, I don't even I don't even want to think about that scene again. That I don't know. That was so out of pocket. That was so out of fucking pocket. But chat, y'all, like, thank you for hanging out during this stream. Like, that was, that was something. That was, that was something. That was something for sure. Uh -huh. forever as always. I'm gonna go like tell my therapist about this. My therapist will know about you. Thank you so much for hanging out with me chat. That was such a fun stream. I'm excited to finish Endwalker next week which I can't believe is happening but it's finally gonna be over with. <laughs> Don't forget to join the Discord server and follow me on social media that way you all can stay up to date with all my shenanigans and Get notified for when we'll go live next. Seriously, from the bottom of my heart, thank you for all the love today. Thank you for all the gifts and stuff, for all the bits, for all the hype, everything. Like, y'all pop the fuck off. And I am so grateful. And I am so excited to see she, well, not even to see, but I'm excited to, you know, to walk to the end with y'all. I can't wait to get that final. That final quest that just says end marker. I cannot wait. So on that note, I will see you all next week uh, for more Final Fantasy XIV. Good night, everybody. Take care. Bye.